A very, very special program lined up for you. We have been talking, and Muta have been talking about this. Uh, as we enter into this new time, into this new era, which is really not so new, you know. It's that it has been coming. But here we are. It's up on us. Whatever is about to happen has already happened. We've been talking about that for a very, very long time. Well, here we are. It is happening. It is unfolding. And we find ourselves in a new time. Some say it's the age of Aquarius. We go with that because it is what it is. But we also find ourselves in a new world order. And it is what it is. It's a new world order. It's a new world economic order. And it's a new world all kind of order. So we'll talk about that later on. But we're going to take a break and back because we have in the studio tonight with us and very, very happy to welcome to the space our very special guest. My, my brother, priest Dermot Fagan, is in the studio live and in living color. Our brother, Anthony Gordon, is in the studio live and in living color. And Larry Stone Abel in the studio, live and in living color. We're talking about the School of Vision. Very, very pleased to welcome live in studio the founder of his Imperial Majesty School of Vision, Priest Dermot Fagan. Priest Fagan, how you do, my brother? Greetings. You hear me okay? You hear me okay, Priest Fagan? Yeah, man. Greetings, greetings. How you do? Uh. Yeah. All right, well, we'll get that right. Also in studio, our brother Anthony Gordon and Larry John Abel. Mm-hmm. So Anthony Gordon is the ministry, it's mm-hmm. the assistant in the Ministry of Agriculture at the School of Vision. Yes, sir. Right? Okay. Greetings, my brother. Yes, sir. Uh, how you do? Welcome. Give thanks. Now I hear you too, too clearly if you come closer. Give thanks. Yeah, man. And, um, Larry Able General Secretary. I wonder if your microphone is working. Just grab, grab it and pull it towards him. I can see what happened. Right. Obviously not working. We'd hear it already. So we're going to share a microphone this way. And uh, greetings, my brother, Larry Stone Able General yeah, Secretary. Give thanks, you know? Yeah, ma'am. Welcome. Welcome. Let me just get your microphones um, to you as close as possible to you while we do this. So let's take a quick... This is a musical shock attack. All right. So... You're good now, Priest Fagan. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Brilliant. 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 We're hearing you loud and clear. Welcome to the cutting edge. Yes. Thank you. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. You know, I had to, uh, you know, listen, I have been talking about you, right? I don't know if you're here. I have somebody tell you what I've been talking about you. The reason I've been talking about you is that, all right, so I remember over the years, every time I interview you, over the many, many years, there is one thing that you would tell me, and this one thing you would say every single time, no matter what the interview was about, as long as you were in a space to speak in a microphone from the early, was it early 90s or early 2000s? From 97 onwards. 97 onwards. There's mm-hmm. one thing that you always say, and that is to literally to warn Jamaica mm-hmm. and to warn us of what was to come. And there's something about that warning that you always gave, is that many of us took you seriously and understood where you were going with it, but many laughed at you. <laughs> I tell you that straight, because you know that too. This is something <laughs> that we talked about before. Yes. Uh-huh. So many took you, many took you seriously, but many had, you know, snickered and 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 doubt what you were because they really couldn't see your vision, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let our listeners know what it is that we're talking about. Because if ever there was, I'm gonna say, because at 97, when Priest Fagan was saying what he was saying, really and truly at the end of the day, it was, uh, a, a clear vision. It, it was prophecy. It was visionary. And uh, so we call it what it is. Now, just last week or two weeks ago, Muta has been talking about it. I've been talking about it. The so-called tech billionaire, Elon Musk, uh, announced that he had successfully implanted one of his, the wireless brain chips in a human being. The FDA gave him approval to plant that chip into human beings. He did a whole lot of tests on animals and finally 
got around to planting it in human beings. He said a lot about it since then. He's talked about, you know, what that entailed, what the possibilities are, and you'll hear some more about that as we go on. But we're bringing this up because Priest Dermot Fagan has been saying that this would have, this would happen from way back in the early 90s. What, how, why Priest Fagan, where you get this from? We say the vision, but how come? How, right. how come you were so sure? All right. I think to answer the question directly, front on, I would say it is a message from the Almighty God. I'm only a vessel as the priest of School of Vision. Yes. So that is a part of my ministry from that time until now. You were very sure about this. Yes, thing. because, you see, I, I could start off to say it's not all of us have faith in the written word, which is all the Bible. The same one that the emperor says we should, he himself glorify into and he would encourage others to do so and accept a one, accept it with a clear conscience. There is no hope for salvation. So by this ordination from the emperor, I would, I have been trying to propagate and seek to sensitize the people biblically in accordance to Revelation 13 verse 16. And from that time until now, I get to discover that many other theologians and as a lot of them have used the same scriptures. And it is Revelation 13, verse 16 that says, And he, referring to Lucifer, caused it all, whether you're large or small, rich or poor, free or bond, to receive a mark in your hand or your forehead, and you won't be able to buy or sell. There are different concepts of what this mark um, should be. For example, in the Adventist, they say it's a Sunday law. But I know by having this knowledge as was given to me by the emperor, and I've been proven on many occasions through visions, as I, as one would imagine. I know it was going to be a micro, it's a micro, small equivalent to half size of a rice grain that would be injected into the human body, which would become now um, what the new world order will be about. In other words, it would be introduced officially and mandated in a compulsory or a draconian and forceful way. So that is why I have been trying for years now to draw the people's attention. But I want, if I am allowed, I want to say here <clears throat> that I'm glad for this opportunity, really, to express myself again. Because what I get to realize is that, for example, even the TRN, I was a member of the JDF from 75 to 81. I left to America from 81 to 93. During those years, there was no TRN in Jamaica, as can be a test through research and examination. Returning 93, I realized that for me to renew my driver's license, a TRN was required, and I was already having an idea of the mark that would come. So, and then now, when I received this TRN number, the number 666 was manifested, so I know now that there is a, a secret agenda. And if you notice, without the TRN upon its arrival and, and, and officiating and the mandatory aspect, without it even now, governmentally, you won't be able to, to access certain issues are continue in the norm. So I see it as a progression from that concept, which is a number on a card, to one encaps, encapsulated in a microchip to be implanted. I get to find out also that the reason for it, I don't want to call exactly names or where the source is, but once and once could pick up here and there. I get to realize that once you are microchip. And by the way, it is affluently circulating in Sweden now. So one could access Sweden microchip to see how far they have gone in this technology and even some cities in China. So what we get to realize now, the reason for this implantation is that once you have received this microchip, it becomes irretrievable. It becomes your new world order identification. And that is where now a certain society will be able to monitor you, the recipients, through the GPS, Global Position Satellite, and the supercomputer, a certain class of people should and must be able to access your movements and track you at any time. And that is what the Bible referred to and said, the mark of the beast. But you have to know who is the beast and how he operates. And I want to get, <coughs> kind of break down all of that um, throughout the, the night as we talk about um, the vision that you had and about um, the uh, you actually using... The, the Bible and you've been using the Bible from, from the get go for, for this, for, to, 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 uh, and as a matter of fact, pointing directly to Revelation, um, to, to bring us into this knowledge of the, 
the banquet ship and uh, and how it would be done. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we want to kind of unpack that and talk some more about that as the, as the night as the night goes on. But let me take another quick break and come forward to continue that conversation. Mm-hmm. Talking about the new world order, talking about the fact that Rastafari was saying long before time and beyond time and within time that what we are now experiencing was what we were going to experience anyway. So that vision of Rastafari was always in place and continues to be in place. One such visionary actually founded His Imperial Majesty School of Vision and uh, this is priest Dermot Fagan, who is in studio with us tonight. Also uh, from School of Vision, Anthony Gordon and Larry Stern Abel. Um, priest Fagan, I'm going to go back to you because I want to set the ground, the, the, the foundation before we branch out a bit. And then it's to go forward now to talk about um, some of the things that you were saying earlier on. You know, I want to remind our listeners that it might sound as if, you know, it, there's no big deal to this. But when you were saying these things in the 90s, it was a big deal. It was how in heaven's name would, was this going to happen anyway? Because you were talking about injecting a microchip and you were talking about different ways that this could have happened. What were some of the ways, according to how you saw it, that this microchip would be introduced into the body? <clears throat> All right. Yeah, even though... I don't know, because it is so diabolic. When I say diabolic, I mean so deceitful, deceptive, and satanic. The people on a whole are, I believe, mostly is ignorant of what is taking place through lies <coughs> and deception. Now, most people are not aware that there is in existence what is referred to as a secret society and you have societies that is referred to as secret societies um, you would have to know the difference between or I speak to you know um, symbolically and for those that can relate you have to be able to know the difference between Magen David and the pentagram mm-hmm. Magen David is referred to as the hexagram the hexagram is commonly referred to as the Star of David. Mm-hmm. But I would want to say it is, shouldn't be referred to as the Star of David. Instead, when you look at Matthew chapter 2, you will find, no, Jesus Christus, which is Yeshua, was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king. It is said, behold, wise men came from the east, which is Ethiopia, to Jerusalem, Palestina, saying, where is he? That is born king of the Jews, for we have seen his star and are come to worship him. They were referred to as magis, um, astrologers, numerologists, and so forth. Their names were recorded to in some ancient writings. And when they came, when they traveled, as you can imagine, geographically from Ethiopia to Palestine, the same route the Queen of Sheba in the time of many, in the time of um, Solomon. The same journey, they came and where the stars stood still, they know in that manger or cave, that child, that miraculous child, should be born. And that is why they brought gold, frankincense, and more. Now, this star of David, that is commonly called, um, when it is viewed, it is two equated, inverted triangle. Inverted me upside down. The first triangle upwards would be a reflection of 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. That says there are three that be a record in the heavens. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. All three is one. Invertedly, it is First John 5 verse 8 that says there are three that be a record in the planet Earth. The water, all things emanate and reflect from water. The blood of Yeshua. We say just us. The Christ in difference to Jesus. And we can be clear on that. And the Spirit of truth. The equation there would be 60 degrees by 6, give you 360, we would say metaphysical degree, and that is the power of the circle. Now, pentagram is a five-pointed star. By the way, Baba Shanti, sport that. It is on the Texaco station. I'm only saying that for a reflection. The equation to the pentagram is 66.6, and that would bring you to Revelation 13, verse 18, that says, Here is wisdom. 
let either have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. So mathematically, when you multiply 66.6, which is the equation by Penta, which is five, you get 333 metaphysical degrees of power. And that is what now Lucifer used in the compass and the square, <laughs> in the pyramid of Giza, and it is in also in what you refer to as the Freemasonic Lodge. All right, so, so, I, so, so, yeah, I see, I see where you laugh because I see, you know, you're going to the pyramid of Giza and you said, and you said, Luf, Lucifer used. Um, so, so we probably forgot to talk about that a little more. At the same time, uh, there is a, and I heard you say Jesus as opposed to Jesus. Yes. But you, you, you still talk about that, 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 that miraculous birth, which is supposedly a, a, a virgin birth. Uh-huh. Of course, um, our, 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 we, we know that that is rubbish, really, mm-hmm. that there's no virgin birth, mm-hmm. but you seem to be holding on to that virgin birth, um, thing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, you know that you asked for it, as I, and I'm yeah. already determined that I will work in line with the O's. Now, as for myself, and like I say, I am representative of His Imperial Majesty El Selassie School of Vision, Bible, Study, Prophecy, and Sabbath Worship. And what I have to share is not to reflect as if I'm the sole expressor for the Rastafari mansions. I don't have that authority. So what I share here, I would beg that it be viewed specifically from the banner that I'm responsible for. Now, when I read the scripture... And it is lacking in Rastafari. When I read the scripture in line with His Majesty encouragement, um, Isaiah 7 verse 14 says, Therefore the Lord Himself, which is God Himself, shall give a sign. What was the sign? A virgin shall have a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, and that is equated to the Hebrew word Yeshua. Have you considered that His Majesty's Imperial Majesty was reading from the gates? Um, as opposed to the King James Version. I could clarify that. He also said that no matter what language the book, which is the Bible, is written into, the word remained the same and it is Not one. quite. Not quite. Because what the King, what King, and you know this, that the, by the time we got to King James Version, mm-hmm. um, would have lost many of the books that have already been taken out. The book of Enoch, for example, is not there. And so many others, Rasta talk about, Rasta Farai talk about the Maccabees, but I, I, and rightfully, I would even place the book of Enoch before all of us tonight to say, right. e- the points you made uh-huh. about the technology and where mm. we were going, even with the microchips mm. and all of that, mm. um, a lot, we could have gathered a lot on that from the book of Enoch itself. Mm-hmm. Um, so that some of these books were removed and for what mm-hmm. reason? Um, it's obviously, we're going to study King James to understand why he did what he did, although it wasn't really him alone. Um, all those people that he gathered to make all of that, um, all, uh, to take away then from what, from all the scrolls that were there, to remove all the books that were there. So that the point I'm making is, so, so, so much is missing that if you're not reading from as close to the original as possible, so much you would have lost is a, is a point I'm making. So that even when you, when in, in Ethiopia, for example, when the, when the high priest mm-hmm. reads from the gates, mm-hmm. um, for, for Zion, mm-hmm. Zion, they say, uh, Zion is, is, is not the way we see Zion. Mm-hmm. For example, Zion then for them becomes Mary, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So that's a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. So it's interpretation and not so much. You know what I'm glad for, the, the Sister word. Cabo? You yeah. know what I'm glad for? We are hearing voices from a long time. But here is a voice now. And this voice is from Ailey Selassie School of Vision. Now let me be clear on here. When we say Bible, to me Bible means books. And even though we have it all there written. Eh? So I am not speaking about the book of Moses. I'm not speaking about the Maccab. I have read all of those books. You're not talking about I, the King James version as we know it in this one. In this I, one I am package. only speaking of the King James authorized. Because there's a difference with version and authorized version. Because it was not King James. The etymology yeah. would bring you from our ancient Hebrew to where it is now. So I want or from gaze, or from gaze. Mm-hmm. You know, um, long before. Mm-hmm. I, it, it, so so I, I, I don't even want to go off track too much, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Because I, we invited you to mm-hmm. talk about your mm-hmm. own vision. Mm-hmm. So 
I suppose another time we can delve into mm -hmm. what, what those books have become. Mm -hmm. But your own vision mm -hmm. regarding the, where we are now, I, I interviewed you so I know that you had that vision. Mm -hmm. And this is why I've asked you to come this mm -hmm. evening to talk about that vision that mm -hmm. you had and why you were so clear mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. And then I know that you said this would have happened in many ways. So I'm not quite sure if even with say during COVID, if you saw any ma manifestation of I this. Said it, I said it in one of the interview with Mr. Bowen before he passed away that there was a virus coming and it is referred to as COVID-19 and in, and they can reaccess the one you of You actually the, named it? Yes, I said, I okay. saw my, I saw myself in the repeat and I was even shocked. I said, well, hey, you know, I hear it's a virus and it came. And if you were noticing and others, they noticed it came with a draconian enforcement, meaning, for example, if you were not, um, Temperature tested, sanitized, social distant, mask, you would find a sign, no mask, no entry. To a man like me, you know, all that was, was, uh, a quarreling tactics to see how the people would react to this virus. And I am here to say now that eventually in the arrival and the mandating of the microchip, that's the same thing gonna happen for those that reject this microchip. And by the way, that is why we have established um, a society, which is the name of the emperor, as I've just mentioned, in the Blue Mountains, and that is where we are trimming our lamp for the rough days ahead. Because there's many things I want to share, you know, but I would go according All to... All right, you. I want to come back to the trimming yeah. of the lamp, but let me let me bring in the other brothers um, quickly, <laughs> uh, because we're setting a foundation. Um, so, uh, uh, assistant um, in the Ministry of Agriculture. So, so then you're going to have to help me now, um, Brother Anthony Gordon, tell me about how the whole thing is set up, because here we have the Ministry of Agriculture and your assistant in that ministry, and this is in the School of Vision. So, pull the microphone to you uh, a little closer so that we can hear you can you ever speak into the microphone it's unidirectional yes my brother greetings again give thanks sir. right so yeah so tell me about the 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 different ministries then within the school of vision because obviously there's a ministry of agriculture it means there are others yes ma'am yes go ahead so give thanks ja rastafari well first and foremost i have to say i give thanks for even the privilege they can come on rfm on this platform you know so Give thanks for inviting the priest and the priest allow I The priest is no stranger here, man. It's just a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long, long time, but he's no stranger. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so yeah. give thanks. Yeah. So, all right then. Um, I can't tell school level, you know, I've established everything I've come through rules and regulation and laws. So, based upon our priest, we've established school level, so everyone who's fit according to your ability, you get like a portfolio to to govern. Right. Well, I, first and foremost, must dig up the original minister, which is Minister Green. So he would have been the first minister of the agriculture farming. Okay. So I would have yeah. been the one who assist him. Okay. Yes, right. so. Greetings, man. Greetings, yeah. Minister Green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So give thanks. So, yes. so, so uh, what do you do? Well, within the ministry. I would be like the man now, like, say, for instance, with Mr. Green, he would be the man that conduct whatever is there to be done. Mm -hmm. So I would be one of the man, like, help carry out that duties. Mm -hmm. So if he is not in position at the time, I would be the one who would take up that authority mm -hmm. and would establish what is the need to be get done at that, at that specific day, you know? Yeah, what are some of the things that, that, that you're getting done now? Ah... Uh, you know, I have to tell you everything because we know the time where we live in and we know school of vision or do you think, but just a, an idea. Yeah, no, all right. For instance, as the Bible would say, you know, there are ten virgins, five wise and five foolish. So we consider ourselves as a wise virgin. So we are trimming our lamb, as the priest would say, by even making preparation towards the great and terrible day because time will come, we don't gonna have any food. Agreed. And otherwise, some mm -hmm. is imperial majesty mm -hmm. who sustain us. We all need food to sustain us. Otherwise, I'm the emperor. So, we have made our privilege and our priority to establish a society where. Tell her what we plan to. Yeah, yeah, man. We are the food. We are the time to come. We can all have food to eat. So, right now, we like a plant like yam, mm -hmm. cocoa, plant mm -hmm. the banana, all those ground provision, vegetables, and all those things, you know? Mm -hmm. They can sustain so us. So many acres of planting, uh 
Well, I have not really demarcated by measurement, but wherever <laughs> I set my foot, I say, all right, this is where we stop. Well, but so we, it's, we, it's we, a considerable we, amount of land we occupy. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. When you step on the way, yeah. the way appears. Yeah, we establish yes, 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 yes. So, so, So you're planting um, yam... Everything. E- everything. Yeah, plant like everything. Growing so, provision. Growing provision. Yeah. And, and are you storing seeds at the same time or? No, because we don't, I hope we will be able to get some, but if you notice the seeds that are being set now by, I think Bill Gates is responsible for a seed manufacturing plant. And these. Oh, ge- but how did we get to this place? Because we didn't know a long time. Mm. So we did store the seed before mm. Bill Gates took over the seed manufacturing mm. plants and turned everything into well, GMOs. Uh, time- how did we get to this place where we not have no seed for store? Well, is, as I said earlier, it's a diabolic plan. You know, it's a man leave from software to seed because the GMOs now is indifferent to our regular seeds that would replenish itself. So, for example, the cabbage that you are getting and certain other seeds, um, the GMO statics mean they cannot uh, reproduce, such as Kalaloo, Pop Chai, and all of that. So that is the danger now. That that will that we and, will and, have to and face. this is really serious now. This is this, is, this, this is not a, this is not no joke. I'm not even quite sure if the so-called leaders who are going to vote next week and whenever they're going to vote and who are going to vote and who are going to vote for who realize and you're talking about a local government election for example that is just coming up and people running up and down in green and orange and you know um hurting themselves in the, in the midst of all of this but at the same time at the community level uh, Rastafari has set an example, which is what the School of Vision is doing, which I know um, generally Rastafari has been doing for a very long time, as to how to prepare. When we talk about food security, for example, how to prepare. But you talk about the farming. But you, but at the same time, I hear you say, it, and I'm not sure if it's just you alone or if it's other groups and so on, that we never manage to bank the seeds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that was beyond our control. So what is going to come down to... Then do we realize too late? Yeah, well, certain things are behind our control. But where we are now and where we are to be, I think we have a good chance of surviving in the in the declaration of the New World Order. Because we have gotten 25 years, for example, in our community existing. We have our tanks and we have our own water system. We have our own um, energy supplied, whether it be generators, solar, lamp, solar system... So we have a form of genuine independence because we yes. eat what we grow and we grow what we eat. Whenever mm-hmm. we are not able to maximize that, we will get from the market, but in a less way, because yes. I think you will attest to that, that the things you are getting from the market you know, is heavily chemicalized, which is not good for our of human course, consumption. Yes, yes, yes. And then, and then how you, even how you prepare the land is a whole other thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, because because uh-huh. we see how, what's happening to the land mm-hmm. in terms of how it is being prepared with the roundup and, mm-hmm. And, you know, the types of fertilizers that are being used, that this is destroying the land at the end of the day. So you plant here, so you can't plant this again. Rotation. Yeah, so that's, that, that's, that's one of the problems. Mm-hmm. Well, um, well, kudos to you that, that, that is happening. And you said something else is happening in the Blue Mountains? Mm-hmm. What's happening in the Blue Mountains? You well, see? our preparation really, you know, Miss Camo, really. I don't think the people are ready for it because you see, the time is running out. I want to say, if I'm alone, if this is the third war, what we mean is world at war the third time. And if it's a world war treat mean world at war as you will attest. And if you can look at the situation in Palestine from the time I, I would even mention Ukraine and Russia. I would want to refer specifically or more so with Palestine. Like I see there are some things some people don't want us to know. For example, if I'm allowed, when the Bible speaks of Israel, he spoke of an individual. He, his brother name was Esau. Now, Israel is differentiated from the Israelis. Israel is racially and biologically characterized with woolly hair, red eyes, and bronze skin. Indifferent to silky hair, blue eyes, or recess, or leprous genes. So what we have here, you know, we have a entrenchment. 1948 from 1947 to the Balfour Agreement. I think you can attest to that. Where these people have gotten Palestine 1948. We refer to it as a Zionist conspiracy which means England and America and the so-called Jews. These three came together in that conspiracy and captured Palestine coming out of a World War II. We are indeed, if you look at the etymology from the time of even before David, 
coming down. These people have never been there before 1948. So what is taking place here now? For, matter of fact, all the prophets, the apostles, all of this is a Negroid, an African story. What we have here is a usurping of the people, and that is why what is taking place is so wicked. So what we see, by the time this is finished, in the reorganization of it, that is where the new world order will be enforced. And that's what we're waiting yes, for. Yes, that, that region, I, 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 I concur, that region is, is pretty important, what's happening. It's one land. Yes. You know, except for the Canal in Suez. Yes. That was caught in Co- ju- just, uh, just the other day. You're, you're aware of Just that. the other day, you know. Okay. But it's, it's really one land. I mean, you okay. can, you can stay, you know, on the, on the, on the, on the, fir- the, the place that is called Africa now mm-hmm. and look over t- at the place that mm-hmm. is called Israel mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. and you can literally say hello to your virgin mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. So, so, so I, I think this is something that we have to know as African people that mm-hmm. that is one land and what our place in all of that is. Mm-hmm. Now, General Secretary, my brother, Larry Stan Abel. Welcome again. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, give thanks. Bless give up, thanks. All right. So, so, well, General Secretary, tell me what, 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 because this is General Secretary, uh, generally of the, 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 the School of Vision. Right? Or is it generally of the of School yes, of Vision? Yes, of School of Vision. School All right. Vision. What, what does that entail? Well, mostly the paperwork for, for the school. Anything to do with the paper, writing letters, distributing letters, Getting information out, all these things, you know, anything to do with the paperwork. That part of the information. Yeah. So when you talk about writing letters, um, who, because I know Rastafari tend to write letters to, um, re- repatriation and reparations. And so you mean letters like those that will be sent to the authorities or just generally speaking to whoever is writ- writing to the school to respond, um, or the, or, or specific um, jobs that entail writing for specific things that on the on the on the agenda of uh, um, the school of vision. Well, it's all of that. All, all that is all, all, all of that included. Mm-hmm. So anything that the instruction work on the instruction from the pre CMA. So even, even those that yeah. need coverage. So the, yeah, people that need coverage so. maybe like the schools. Can you have some schools now that pressuring children for? Their locks and other things. So we'd write a letter to that, to the school. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let them know that they're a member of our society mm-hmm. and they're not supposed to mm-hmm. pressure them with the locks, to trim their locks and all of that mm-hmm. and get it stamped by the school. So it's a general thing all around. Letters okay. from all type of, mm-hmm. for all type of different situations. Right. Uh, what, what are some of the major uh, concerns now of the School of Vision regarding um, the the rights of Rastafari in Jamaica? And then to hear you talk about the locks just now. What are well, some of the- that is one of the main things, same way, with the, with the, they're not allowing the children to go to school with their locks or pressuring them, you know. Not so to- after the whole Nzinga King thing, we're still having that situation? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, people still going through that, even in college. Even college states. Up to today, they here? Up to today, they right now. What are they being told? They are being told that they can't wear locks to, to come to the institution unless they have a letter to say that they're a member of a such Rastafarian community and they have to get a letter to go in to show that they can wear their locks because they're a member of School of Vision or a Rastafarian entity. So it's so, still so a pressure. Mini- so the Minister of Education and some other people over there come out the other day and said that. Let <laughs> oh, me get it wrong. Yeah, because what happened now to what I understand, the Minister for Ed- in the law, it is there in the law that there, there should be allowed to wear their locks. But the schools mm-hmm. have different rules. Mm-hmm. So the schools are using up their school rules on the children. So if, the per- if they don't know that there's a law and they don't want, and they don't go for it to fight it that way, I bring it to the ministry and all of that. They're gonna still gonna get a fight. The school rule gonna tell them that okay, you're not supposed to wear locks. So they will have to take it to another level and bring it to the ministry. So, and, so as you know, and sorry for keep you know belaboring this, but up to now, no, no, this thing is really happening in Jamaica. Yes, up to now, right now, no. after yes. the whole Nzinga King thing, yes, right now, right now. Yes, so, yes, so how so how serious is this, um, priest? Because this is something obviously, it, your your own members are experiencing it. I'm I'm getting from you. No, is it it, your it's, own, it's, just generally. All right. For example, you would have had someone call us or 
sell a text to say such and such is taking place at such and such school and have been prevented. Okay, so whether or not the person is a member of the school. Yes. So right, I would yes. I would instruct the, the secretary right, to right, comprise right. the letter and I would stamp it to yes. rebut what they are dealing with. But once and once and 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 my brother Larson, once those letters go in, then what what happens? They have to he's well they they have they have to have the letter now is coming from us and it's a stamp and it's, it's the, the authority is there. So, you have so they normally back down. Yeah, they normally back down after that because they know that it's in the law already. Mm-hmm. It's in the law of the country that they should not do that. So for those who don't reach out, say, to the School of Vision or other Rastafari mansions, might be pressured mm-hmm. Yeah, to trim their locks and all of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that don't work with us. You know, as we as we were speaking here today, mm-hmm. it was the day that the One Love Bob Marley movie opened on the island, opened generally um, for the public, uh, and uh, many persons would have gone to see that. Today, I saw where Muta himself was talking about, Muta is, part, was, is in the movie, and he talked about going there, and, and he talked about why he cried, because when he looked and uh, saw the kind of people who were coming into the space and who outside and who inside and from, from, from royalty to otherwise, British royalty to otherwise, to, 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 to pay tribute in a way to this Rastafari, uh, Bob Marley and remembering where Rasta is coming from. You know, he talked about that. And this is the thing is that it, somehow the Jamaican people are able it's almost like a schizophrenic kind of way to, to honor somebody like Bob Marley who has made it to that level, but at the same time to dishonor Rastafari, even Rastafari children in the classroom. Mm. So while we have the prime minister and the whole of the ministers of government mm. going to this mo- movie premiere for Bob Marley and hobnobbing, that they haven't really, as much as I said in the law, but not much has been done to stop this discrimination against Rastafari on this island. What a hypocrisy. Yeah, hypocrisy. Uh, uh, yeah. hypocrisy. That is, that hypocrisy. is the That's word. The word. Hypocrisy. That is the word. That is the word. Mm-hmm. Ah, so we're going to have to call out who we call out. You know, <laughs> it's three minutes after 11 o'clock. You're inside of the cutting edge. My name is Kabo. I'm in for Motor Baruka. We have uh, the founder of his Imperial Majesty School of Vision, Priest Dermot Fagan, in the house. We have uh, uh, members of the School of Vision, the Assistant Minister of Agriculture, Anthony Gordon, and the General Secretary, Larson Abel. It's not like we're talking about this and that, you know, about everything connected, so we're coming right back to Priest. Uh, we have another break coming up shortly, but I'll come back to you, Priest, because... All right, so as we move into this new time are you, you are you on board with 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 for example what i said earlier which is that yes we we have moved now into this new world order this is where we are are you on board with that now mm-hmm. or are you saying that there's still <coughs> All right. you know it's just a pity that rasta farah is not properly defined cuz if you are looking outside in what is Rastafari? You will find us said say Rastafari is not a religion. Rastafari is a way of life. Rastafari is culture. But you see, for a man like I know, I say Rastafari is Christ returned in his kingly character. Rastafari is God Almighty. Rastafari is the only recorded King of Kings and Lord of Lords and the power of the Holy Trinity. So you see where I'm concerned? Right there, it is finished. What we need to know though is our purpose. For example, I I, I, I don't know the time. This, no, this man, we have enough. time, man. We are good. Listen, thank you. we are talk all night if we need to talk all night. We need to open the phone lines to but we'll yeah. make a go on talk. For yes. a man like I know, man. Yes. When I get to find out that Christ, the word Christ to me means savior. It's a Greek word, and I know you can attest to that. When I study this Bible, and I'm and I'm sorrowful for those that have not listened to the voice of His Majesty the way I have. When I read the Bible for myself, it is clear: Christ is racially depicted with woolly hair, red eyes, and brown skin. Christ also said, "Come unto me, all you that are able laden." That means there is no barrier where salvation is is concerned. He also said, I "What is salvation? To be saved from what? From what? From 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 sin." What is and from destruction, sin to me means lawlessness, disobedience, etc., etc. So I am saying now 
if I should realize who Rastafari is, and if I should make or correlate then a connection when him say, I am the king of Israel, the king of kings and lord of life, you know what that is telling me? That I, in diaspora, is a Hebrew Israelite in bondage and captivity. What we have not looked at is uh, the etymology from where we start to where we are now. We have a 400 years of transatlantic enslavement. Out of that period, we hear the word reparation. The issue is, have we gotten a cent where genuine reparations would mean redress or something to justify our so bandit state? The other word we heard is independence, while there is currently a retention of a governor general. So you see, I and I know, I see myself now free already, waiting for the advent of his majesty. Because this, this, this what we have here is not, is not proper representation, neither politically nor churchically. That is why Rastafari is the one that stands on the, and him say, I, him say, I set my watchmen upon the walls of Babylon. What was the word? That if said, give him no rest until he make Jerusalem a city of rejoicing. And that is what repatriation should mean. We have to go back home. And by go back home, you're, you, where, where is that? Because man, I, cause you said Jerusalem. Home, so home, would which, mean, home would mean to a man like me where we were taken from. Back to Africa. One land, one Africa. Yeah. And, and so that even that physical land that mm. is called Jerusalem is still one land. It's our place. It is still one land. It's and that is the place. thing that, that I think is, first we must understand. It's so, our so, place. So, so it takes a paradigm shift, right? It's literally, you have, a, it's, you have to kind of take out your atlas, which is what I said to people on Sunday mornings. When we, when we're having the, uh, you know, anything, any discussions on geopolitics is take out your atlas. Go on your phone, check mm-hmm. it first, because you have to see what the land that we are talking about mm-hmm. um, to understand mm-hmm. when we say this is our land, this is mm-hmm. where we're from mm-hmm. anyway. Uh, so how important is that then, though, in the scheme of things? Because um, and that is a repatriation. Mm-hmm. What happens before that and between that, because not everybody, obviously, mm-hmm. is going to be repatriated. Mm-hmm. And uh, there is, while there is this move for reparations, mm-hmm. There is also the other side, which is we see the slowness of that and mm-hmm. we see how even that is being hijacked, mm-hmm. you know, by the same people mm-hmm. paying themselves. Mm-hmm. They, they call it reparations, but then give themselves the money and go right back to them. Mm-hmm. So, um, what, 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 what if that doesn't happen? In other words, in, 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 and, and I'm going back to the question on the new world order. Mm-hmm. You know, where are we in the scheme of things in your mind? All right. Where we what are, time is it, in other words? All right. Where we are now, revelation. Revelation means to reveal. Where we are now, we are getting ready for the mark of the beast. That the people must be tagged. And we already said it is, will be done by, and I tell you straight, the Illuminati. That is the, the power, the head of all the world secret society. They have a conspiracy, our, our agenda. What I am looking for is out of the hashes of this year, chaotic state that we are into. By the way, you know what is it? I don't hear the Rasta man saying the coming of the Lord. The church people said Jesus was coming. And from 1999 until now, obviously, he has not shown himself. But we don't know that Ayla Selassie is the Christ. I don't hear the Rasta speaking about the coming of the Empire. You know what they will say? So I'm come already, so I'm come again for. So what it is here, you know, you know what's going to happen? There will be no repatriation achieved until we have tested, or we have been tested in the arrival of the mark. You know what the mark going to mean? For example, if you don't take this chip that they bring here, you know what's going to happen? The horses that you own, you're going to lose it. The opportunity to operate in the banking system, you won't be able to do so. Those that live in the city, you won't get no light, you won't get no water, and you won't be able to buy or sell as COVID-19 have deceitfully revealed to us. I was just waiting for you to pause so we go through that just the other day ah, because that was a test. That was a pilot, a test yes, run. Yes, A test run. So those who, those of us, mm-hmm. like myself, mm-hmm. who refused to take the poison mm-hmm. that they were calling vaccine, which we mm-hmm. knew was had nothing to do with no vaccine, this mm-hmm. M- M- mRNA, which... Mm-hmm. Still having the nanoparticles, by the way, which is another microchip, if you ask me. So when them connect that back to the cloud, we decide you are who determine. We see a lot of people dying already also. We see the cancers and we see the heart attacks. And we know that that's connected to the COVID-19 mRNA gene therapy. So we say that without fear or favor. 
Mm. Now, so that was a test. Mm -hmm. To what extent is that test, in your mind, mm -hmm. making it easier now for the next, for the real thing, or mm -hmm. is there another test? Of course, more is coming, because you know why it must come to the Bible said, there commit a tribulation. Can you say again, I say the Bible, because I'm not about me. I'm, I am about my father's business, and I have nothing of my own. Everything that I relate to can be attested as well, it is written. I, I want to stop a minute, because I hear you, you have also said, when you said the Bible, mm -hmm. you're not talking about this one book that everybody's looking at now. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the writings mm -hmm. of... Um, our own people, mm. the, from all those schools mm -hmm. that are in various places and not just in that one book. I have said before that the word Bible means book. Good? And there are many books. But we are speaking now pointedly of the King James authorized version. So we, why we, you stick on the King James authorized I, version, can, can, can Chris Dermot Fagan? Can, can I explain it, ma'am? Yes, sir. All right. And I'm glad for this opportunity. I see I want to relate. And I know that you're an intellectual. And others are out there to relate. I can understand what I'm saying. Because he to speak clearly. When the majesty says, we have the oldest version. I know you'll agree it is a geese. It is. No, and we know we have the geese, we have the Hebrew and the Hamaric. But incidentally, I don't speak none of those languages. So mm -hmm. what, what I'm saying, you know, I have, I have learned the English language after 400 years, which enabled me to relate to what is into the Bible. And I don't find no confusion. Is there is, uh, because, you, because, you see, I think, and here we come again, I'm, I'm going to invite you back to have a conversation about this, but uh -huh. for the running African program, not for a motor program. <laughs> I, not for motor that. program all right? I would love that. I think we need to have this conversation. It, it because is necessary. I'm a student of history. It is necessary. And I study King James. Yeah, myself too. Right, so I know that mm -hmm. King James must be viewed mm -hmm. in a wider context. Mm -hmm. As for who he was, mm -hmm. who he is, mm -hmm. and what he did. Mm -hmm. And so, and within that context also, mm -hmm. anything that he authorized, mm -hmm. in other words, anything that he signed off mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. must be taken with a whole pot load of salt. And this is why we have to go back to the gays. Mm -hmm. We have to learn the gays, mm -hmm. or we have to go to Ethiopia mm -hmm. and get the Bahat to a priest and to read it to him. You understand? Um, I think this is, we owe that to ourselves, mm -hmm. priest Fagan. Mm -hmm. I don't want, you have said it here, and I, and I know you don't want to be half key, but let me put it to you now. <laughs> I tell you, I tell me something half key. No, I, I, know, I, say, I know you don't want to, so let us, let us, let, hear this part here, you know, my sister. Look here, yeah, man. No, you hear this part here. Yes, now. my brother. Why, I, can yes. I say I've done my study? Yes. And it's a study to show yourself why it's no. Rightly dividing I, I, yes. the word of truth. Thank you. Yes, I, yes. I think it is found out, um, not too long ago that King James actually was a black man. I see it on YouTube. Uh, not, no, no, sir. So, all right. So, I was about no, to no, say... No, no, it's not true. So, I was about to say whether it is AI or not. What I'm glad for, though, yes. is that when I read the scripture, and I keep yes. going back to it, there are three scriptures in this Bible that show that God is an African. No, I say, why would King James put that? I read the Bible. And a, I, lot, I, a lot of things escape them. For example, Amen. Mm -hmm. There are so many times in the Bible that you see the word Amen. Mm -hmm. But the way they the way they reinterpret that to us because it's keep, it, 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 it them trick themselves and it escape in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Is that for it is for own mm -hmm. it's for own learning when they talk about rightly dividing um iron sharpness iron of course mm -hmm. um so that we know that we are, they're talking about Amen Ra. Mm -hmm. We I, know I, that I know about that. Right. So, so there are a lot of things mm -hmm. skip them, mm -hmm. but then take out the book where shows say mm -hmm. um, Noah was an albino, mm -hmm. black albino, mm -hmm. uh, right? Mm -hmm. That when Noah got to him father mm -hmm. and say, mm -hmm. you know, well, you know, um, when Noah father got to got to got mm -hmm. to him, him grandfather and say, well, but this child is mm -hmm. the grandfather said this child is born, but mm -hmm. this child is is his complexion is white like salt mm -hmm. and the eyes them like like bright like day mm -hmm. and the hair white and woolly mm -hmm. and and we know that this was an albino mm -hmm. that was no you know mm -hmm. um so i'm just saying that mm -hmm. um so those are writings and i don't know if um a lot of it a lot of the writings mm -hmm. i think from that time not necessarily um are to be taken literally mm -hmm. a lot of them a lot of them are storytelling and we understand the context of those come mm -hmm. from but as i said before let me invite you mm -hmm. on the africa forum mm -hmm. not on muta program right just like muta has done many of these programs already mm -hmm. talking about the bible but let us have that con conversation mm -hmm. elsewhere mm -hmm. but in any case mm -hmm. you have gone to the bible mm -hmm. and it is through the bible when i when i introduced you before i said you 
you've always been talking about what we are experiencing now, mm -hmm. that these things will come. Mm -hmm. I, I, and you got, and, and, and it is through the Bible mm -hmm. that you identified that mm -hmm. these things would come. My sister. My sister. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Right down where you're going to say, right yeah. there, sir. Coming down, you miss it. I, 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 it. Yeah, let, let, let me take a quick break. Uh, Priest Dermot Fagan, founder of His Imperial Majesty School of Vision, is in the house with us. We're talking about issues concerning us, we African people. Uh, Anthony Gordon is the Assistant Minister of Agriculture at the School of Vision. Larson Abel is the General Secretary. Um, Iron sharpen it iron. And as, as priests say, study to show that self approve, rightly dividing the word. So priest, you, I, I'm going to go right to you because you were just about to make a point when we went to the break. Mm. Yes, I was about to say something and I will not detain you too much in this line because you have already said that along the line you will seek to facilitate our discussions and so forth with the Bible. But just that the, the listeners be clear. Now, why I have to stay with this book here, the authorized version, is because I know that it has gone through linguistical um, translation. For example, from Hebrew to Greek, which is a Septuagint, from Greek to the Vulgate, which is Latin, Roman, that leads into the English translation in the 15th century. I'm clear about all of that. Now, when I read this book, I get to find out a mystery using my head and my ability to understand, yeah? Have you heard of the name Melchizedek? Huh? Yes. Well, praise the Lord. Now, my sister, most people don't speak about this, but you know what I'm glad for? In this book, the book of Hebrews chapter 7, helps to illuminate my mind that I come to a proper conclusion and determination. You know what is written? St. Paul says, For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the most high God, here now, without father, without mother, without beginning of days, nor end of life, without descent, without genealogy, but made like unto the Son of God. Live it, a priest forever. No, you know what my determination is? Anyone mm -hmm. that is without beginning of days, nor end of life, must be God. You know what I research for myself? Mm -hmm. I seek to analyze what the word God should mean. Whether it's a Greek word or not, it is reflected in the Encyclopedia Dictionary. Word God means supreme, comma, most high, comma, supernatural, and deity. So for a man like I know, what I realized, Melchizedek was an apparition. A man that traversed from extraterrestrial to terrestrial, returned to thousand years later, in the name of Yeshua, Amashia, the virgin concepted child, Emmanuel. Two thousand years later, from the lamb to the lion, is now what? His imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I. So, 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 I so, so what, I hear, what I hear you saying, you're talking about, um, we, we are not disagreeing on anything, what, what, what I hear you saying is that you're talking about the manifestation, the yes. material manifestation yes. of uh, the energy, the frequency, mm -hmm. and the vibration mm -hmm. that, that, that man in his, man and woman mm -hmm. in their inability, because a human inability mm -hmm. to comprehend and to understand, and, and to name this, mm -hmm. this, 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 um, this, this spirit, this, 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 um, energy, this frequency, this vibration, mm -hmm. call it God. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that Melchizedek mm -hmm. represents a, a material manifestation mm -hmm. of that energy, frequency, and vibration. Mm -hmm. You're saying that his imperial majesty Same represent man. that manifestation in this dispensation. Uh, in, this, in this dispensation. That's all so, we're saying. Yes, yes. So, um, so, it is much more than that. So, where we are now, and what is around the corner, is that after, and I say it straight, because that is a part of my ministry, and, and in the fullness of time, it will be attested. You see, after, you see, during the days of this mark here, that will bring in as much as it, this time it won't chew, it won't be through the womb of St. Mary, now St. Yeshima Beth. This time it will be an extraterrestrial galactical intervention, and that will bring you now to the chariots of fire, which, if you will allow, we will go into that later. No, we can't go into it right now. Mm. <laughs> well, all right. The same way Russia, Iran, 
America and all, North Korea, all of these nations have some highly sophisticated weapons and drones and all of these things here. The Majesty is the owner for 20,000 visible, invisible machines that are referred to as the chariots of fire. In Europe and America, they have what is called UFO, when it is properly defined. You would be for unidentifying fly objects, but we are here to declare them. There are 20,000 ships, and that will bring you to Psalm 67, verse 68, verse 17. The chariots of the Lord are 20,000, and that what is the expectation in the, in the reign of the mark of the beast, and it won't miss. So that... Uh, right, so, so a few things to, to, to talk about, right? So one is, so you, you talk about the many realms mm-hmm. and um, that understanding that we can move through realms. Mm-hmm. Um, that is, th- th- that we're within that period mm-hmm. when we'll see manifestation mm-hmm. of persons who are, are, are beings mm-hmm. that are moving through realms, mm-hmm. um, it, it, which has been happening for, 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 for this is, I personally feel that this has always been happening but you're saying that no pe- person's eyes will be opened to that event that right. ongoing event yeah, that, that yes that mm-hmm. can, it will maximize that well that's the that's our history that's the history of ancient egypt no. in other words our deities mm-hmm. move through realms and the other oh, thing that you is, know um the other thing that is denied or undermined is that this is the second gathering because you see the people that are called jews they have no history to sustain that they have ever been in any bondage for 400 years. But what say the prophecy? God said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and they shall serve for 400 years. It is the transatlantic enslavement that was prophesied there. Well, um, be, be, all right, so let me just say something clear. We're not disagreeing on a lot of stuff, you know. It's just that... You're using the authorized version of King James, and I'm using the writings of our ancient ancestors mm-hmm. from Kemet and Nubia and Sudan and, and mm-hmm. those places mm-hmm. and, and the Horn of Africa and mm-hmm. so on, mm-hmm. which is our writings anyway, mm-hmm. that they, that they plagiarize and mm-hmm. put in these books and call it the authorized version. Mm-hmm. That is why we can't tell you that them change up a lot of it. For mm-hmm. example, we know say Akhenaten mm-hmm. is the writer of the Psalms. Mm-hmm. We know that because we did, 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 you can find them on the walls of the pyramids, mm-hmm. um, long before time and mm-hmm. beyond time. Um, so, so we understand who we are. Mm-hmm. in the wider context of things and the extent to which we have been plagiarized. Mm-hmm. We understand that. Mm-hmm. So that the fact that you're, you're, you're quoting from the, from the plagiarized version, mm-hmm. right, doesn't make it... In other words, the point I'm making is that we are not disagreeing. I, mm-hmm. I want to point out to you, though, mm-hmm. that why don't you then... Is, is it... Or would you consider mm-hmm. moving from the plagiarized version... Mm-hmm to the original version. Mm-hmm. In other words, mm-hmm. our writings, our mm-hmm. own writings. A mm-hmm. book, for example, that is a majesty use, mm-hmm. book written in gays, mm-hmm. um, which is closer to the truth mm-hmm. of who we are. Mm-hmm. Um, there are so many different iterations mm-hmm. of that book before it gets to mm-hmm. the, the murderer, mm-hmm. King James, mm-hmm. who, who, who locked his mother mm-hmm. in a tower mm-hmm. in England mm-hmm. and, and watched her die. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that person who is an enslaver, who is a murderer, who is um, really and truly not, 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 the morals are, are totally missing from a man like that. So for, for us to even to be talking about him in even a space like that, it, 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 but I understand still enough that this is, this is, this is, this is, this is not a judgment because I think we have to, to listen to each other. I but would so, beg to so clear for, this up though. Yes. I would beg to clear this up yes. now. Now I am not here and I want the listeners to be clear. I am not here in defense or, or, or seeking to promote the King James himself. All I know is that there is a big difference with King James version as if to say he gave it indifferent to e authorizing a translation linguistically from from Roman Latin to the English. Can I say how it is? No, to he me. had he had no morals. Yeah. Well, he had no before, morals. So the moral. authorization but it is not his is, book. It no, but, his but, book. but but he was a literate listen, he was an intellectual. Yeah, well he, it was not as his a matter book. of fact I'll tell you something. Many people Still feel mm. that he's a person who wrote all those books under the names of the name of Shakespeare, you know, yeah, not, because not, Shakespeare yeah. did not exist, you know. Mm. Shakespeare is 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 a um, 
a, 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 a group, that people feel it's a group of people. Some people feel it's a woman. There's no, there's no historical Shakespeare. And many people, the, the jury is still out. The, many people still feel that those books were written by King James because King James is, the only, is, is an intellectual. He was a literary person. He was writing day and night. He understood exactly what he was doing. Can I say this? I think I've said it before. And this is not for a boast or brag, but that will be clear. And the listeners may have a full overstanding of what I'm seeking to express. Yes. No, I am one of those that have read not only this authorized version that bears the name of King James. I've read the last books of the Bible. I've read the Apocrypha. I, many books. Have, the book of Enoch, the Maccabee, one version, the book of Moses. I have done all of that. So all I'm seeking to say that is that linguistically speaking, I would be in a disadvantaged state if I should be called upon to reason or have a concourse in other languages. I don't I have take that the point. ability. I take the point. I, I, I really take the point. Yes. And we understand, we understand yes. that. We keep going back to it, but we understand. Yes. I know because it is... Because, and I, I tell you why we keep going back to it, because it is a point of departure, right, for us in this conversation. So let me, let me take a quick... And... Um, just to let you know that, so yes, I'm getting a lot of messages from our listeners. And um, so let me just take two quickly. One is, I, I did mention, priests that um, our ancient Egyptian deities, because you talked about the intergalactic travel and moving from one realm to the next realm and, and how that is going to become um, visible to those who were, bl- who were blind. Now they will be able to see in this dispensation or in, or in this time. And um, so you're asking which Egyptian deities? Well, really, two in particular were actually called all the deities, and 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 Egyptian. I mean, we were doing this. We are we 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 are, you know, we're we're we're, we're spiritual beings having a human experience in African bodies. All right. So, if we understand that, then you understand that we have been coming and going all this time, but. Our, so the two, two deities in particular, uh, Sekhmet and Hathor. These were deities who were lit, who, who our ancient ancestors <clears throat> called or named, uh, deities of many realms. In other words, they were the ones who were literally responsible for that part of things. So they were moving through all the realms. This is part of our, um, Cosmogony. This is part of our cosmology. This is part of who we are. This is, this is our African selves. So, so there's that. Also, many persons are calling, are writing me to say that they've gone to the movie. They saw the movie, um, the Bob Marley One Love movie, and um, a lot of you so far uh, have said that the reviews are, have been too harsh. That you like the movie, and this is mainly what I'm getting. I haven't heard from anyone yet who has said that they didn't like the movie that they saw tonight. So also that is coming in to me. And you know the reviews. Some of the reviews have been really harsh. That's what they're saying. All right. Uh, so thank you for that. And uh, another question is when we're going to open the phone lines. So we'll open the phone lines at um, right after midnight, right after we take the anthem, and you uh, ask your questions of Priest Dermot and our brothers in the studio. Um, Priest Dermot, you had mentioned Palestine. There's a question coming in about that. And um, the person is saying that we didn't allow you to, to finish, which was you're saying that when you, not so much Ukraine, because uh, we were talking about how do you know what time it is literally, where we are. Mm-hmm. And you said, you're looking not so much at what's happening with Ukraine and Russia, but what's happening in in Palestine on that land. Mm-hmm. So I think we got carried away. So the po- the main point you're making regarding that war mm-hmm. or, or that massacre, that genocide, because that's not a war. Mm-hmm. Um, was what? Do you, right. do you recall? All right. Um, it is kind of deep, but for the interest of the public, I will point out these things. Now, when you read Revelation, again, I have to go back to the compass because I want to relate myself in a transparent way. That means whatsoever I declare can be a test. I'm not on my own. Now, when the king came 2,000 years ago, we have already said the king is racially and biologically depicted with woolly hair, red eyes and brown skin, without argument that he's an African. His title was not only king of Israel, but also king of the Jews. So here it is now. That man said, I came to my own, 
but my own receive me not, which mean if he is black, his own would be black people and they reject him. And we found in the scripture, Pilate, governor of Rome, Italy, absolve himself, have nothing to do with it. Now, he also said in Revelation 2 verse 9, he says, woe be unto those that say, it is not some like a prophet saying this, you know, the voice of the lamb, Yeshua. Woolly red eyes and brown skin. Woe be unto those that say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Revelation 3 verse 9 again, to clear him say, and I will say of them that say they are Jews and are not, that they will come and bow down before I and I, that they may know that he has love eyes. So you know what we have here? We have a subplanting of we have, African, Satan. <laughs> we have a subplanting of, and by the way, I supply again the book of Amos 9. Verse, um, verse 7 for clarity. I quote, Are you not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, say the Lord? So when I analyze it now, there must be an equation, yeah, or a comparison between the Ethiopian and Israelite because obviously the world know the Ethiopians are Africans. So what we have here now, we have a supplanting of the children of Israel by the Israelis who does not fit in any way or form. What some people may not realize also in the transatlantic era, when we came down here in bondage, that was a prophetical reference to Deuteronomy 28, where the Lord speak unto Moses and say unto the children of Israel, that if they shall keep my commandments and listen to my voice, the declaration, blessed are thou. And he also said, thou shalt be the head and not the tail. Blasey, blasey, till him reach verse now, 15. What did you say was a prophetic reference? Are you saying that the... the Our captivity, the captivity in the was, transatlantic... Was, was, was prophesied? Yes, ma'am. By in who? Deuteronomy 28, because of the disobedience of our ancestors, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. In the later verses, 65 onwards at the end of 28, he says, I will send you again to Egypt by ways of ship. Mm-hmm. And we know that in the first uh, um, ad- advent... For over 430 years in Egypt, there was no ship that brought us there. If we have studied the, the, the match properly, so we are saying now that these no, no, they were, the Egyptians were, were were building ships and sailing. Yeah, but ships. what I'm saying is, so, so, no, so, 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 let me ask you this before we go to mm-hmm. the ships. Um, so, so that. It, it, when you're reading a book, because as, as you said, the Bible is is, is a book. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a point when you say? To whom is he speaking? Of whom is he speaking? Of what is he speaking? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm saying in that way so as to, 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 to be clear mm-hmm. that whatever that prophecy was mm-hmm. about the enslavement of, of whoever mm-hmm. were to be enslaved, mm-hmm. whether or not that, that was a prophecy that really spoke to the enslavement mm-hmm. of African people mm-hmm. by, by, by the, by, 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 by the, by the slavers, mm-hmm. um, or is it uh, speaking to a specific people at a specific time mm-hmm. by whoever? Mm-hmm. You know, this point I'm asking. Mm-hmm. You know, how are you so clear that this is a prophecy about the Ma'afa? All right. We have said in the later verses of 28 Deuteronomy, it says, I will send thee, meaning to refer the children of Israel, again to Egypt by way of ship. And hear it. It says, and when you are into, those, into that land or those lands, you wish... At night, you wish it was morning, and at morning, you wish it was night because of the bondage that you shall bear. We said earlier that the Israelis have never been in no enslavement for a 400 years. So without other, it is clarified in our transatlantic enslavement. And that's why it is necessary. I know, I know that that has been interpreted in that way by many persons. Right, and, and, and that is my views. Right, uh, which I, I disagree with, but yeah. then it is your view. So, yes, that's my so, so, so respectfully speaking, I, mm. I, I hear your views and, mm. and, and, and we'll move on with this. But just to say that the, that the, our ancient ancestors mm-hmm. in Nubia, mm-hmm. in all of Sudan, in mm-hmm. Ethiopia, mm-hmm. in Egypt, mm-hmm. all of that mm-hmm. land, that they were building ships and sailing to this part mm-hmm. of the world. Mm-hmm. And if you go now even into um, the, the, the new Cairo Museum mm-hmm. or the Museum of Cairo, mm-hmm. you'll see the display of King Tut and you'll see mm-hmm. the, the solar boat mm-hmm. and you'll see, you'll see the prototype and you'll see um, even bigger, the, the, mm-hmm. the remains of even bigger boats. Mm-hmm. That they were sailing to and fro. Mm-hmm. Hence the Olmec head, for example, mm-hmm. in, 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 um, in these waters, mm-hmm. so to speak. And even the fact that if, if, if we go back to Van Sertima, mm-hmm. uh, we came before Columbus. That mm-hmm. was a, uh, this was a trading route. Mm-hmm. And we were building ships mm-hmm. and trading this mm-hmm. way. 
uh, and I, I want to make that point to say that ships, we were already sailing in ships, and this is why that book could refer and reference ships, because ships already All right. existed. All right. I want to be clear on that. Now, I realize over the years, when I then, I speak for myself, when I refer to Egypt, it might refer to feathers, but I want the listeners to be clear. I am one of those that have done my research and my study. And I know that when we say Egypt, we are speaking of North Africa. So to me, there is no argument that Egyptians are Africans. I know that. I know the Palestinians originally... As a matter of fact, Palestine is originally a part of the, the African map, and I think you have already attested to that. But what people may not realize that Egypt, Ethiopia, all of this was in existence before the creation of the tribes of Israel, and I think you will attest to that. And, right, and this is the why I keep, and this is why I keep saying Egypt, Sudan, mm-hmm. all of that area, it's our because place. that land was. The, the, the partitioning of, of, of Africa in 1884 by these very same um, murderers, um, this is what has left us with, with what it has left us with. But really and truly, that whole area, Ethiopia, as a matter of fact, Kush, you know, um, uh, Nubia, uh, your to- Punt. Mm-hmm. You're talking about, and then go all the way back to Yemen, mm-hmm. where all of this is happening now. Mm-hmm. You know, so 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 I think we 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 need to. That's why we say when we are having these conversations, mm-hmm. take out your atlas and look on mm-hmm. it, but at the same time understand, see things through your mm-hmm. own lens. All right. So to come back to the point you were making, um, priest, that is, all right, uh, all of that land and uh, Palestine being significant significant and this war this is this genocide mm-hmm. of the Palestinians mm-hmm. right now the massacre the ethnic cleansing mm-hmm. of that region mm-hmm. by the Europeans who, have, who went there to live in 1948 mm-hmm. and then others who have come mm-hmm. um, re- more recently mm-hmm. that you're saying that this is significant um, it, it, we should watch this to see how it develops and then what will come out of it this is what I, I hear you saying I am looking for this to be the third war Okay. And when I say the third war, world at war for the third time. We have World War One, we have World War Two, and I and many of us have a strong idea that, that this me might be the prophetical um the third war that is to come. What it means when we analyze the world war, what it should mean? Destruction, maim and all of that. So we are saying now that this year will lead into a devastated state for the world's people. Another thing that people might overlook. Now the Israeli, to me, they are the children of Esau, if you can relate to that. The Palestinians, as they are, are the Ishmaelites, referred to as the Arabs. Neither the Arabs nor the, the, the children of Esau have any legal right on that occupation since 1948. And, and, and a matter of fact, before 1948, when there was no Israeli there, the Palestinians were there. Mm-hmm. And I would equate the behavior and the attitude in uh, conjunction to when the Americans came off the Mayflower, crashed at Plymouth Rock, and the Indians gave them that type of hospitality. Later on, the Europeans turned around and genocide the Red Indians, put them in reservation, kill them off with smallpox, and eventually make cowboy and Indian movie. And that is the same thing I'm seeing now in Palestine. So even though my spirit is grieved with that type of atrocity, I know that that place, Palestine, belongs to the Negroes. How do I know that? The lamb was born in Palestine. And the lion born in Ethiopia. So if you should relate now the stories from even the time of Sheba, Queen of Sheba and Solomon, it is our, it is the black story. So that is why it is necessary after the mark for the intervention of Haile Selassie to settle the matter. And that is why I wait in the mountain in this preparation. The church people say rapture, but they don't know who is Christ. So uh, what's your own views on the rapture? Ma'am? What, what, is, what are your own views on the rapture? Well, I, it is clear unto me. I have well, said earlier on that his imperial majesty did not perish on the 27th of August 1974. Instead, it was a meticulous translation from terrestrial to extraterrestrial. We look for him to fulfill the prophecy this time at Isaiah 66, verse 15. Behold, the Lord shall come with chariots of fire. Nations will be disturbed because he's planned to take out the people, which is black people, to restore them into their original place, Jerusalem. And that is what we are about. Because we are not deceived, nor we naive to the matter. 
It is 11.52. It's eight minutes um, to midnight. And right after midnight, we're going to be opening the telephone lines and taking your telephone calls. So please stay up, Dermot Fagan, and the, the brethren in studio. My brothers, I didn't talk to you much, you know, but we're going to, we have two hours and we talk some more. But um, in terms of the preparation, because the, 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 the preparation for what is to come, um, it, 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 how do you balance that? I mean, here on the island, uh, as a, uh, against... Rep- repatriation. Mm-hmm. In other words, uh, th- there's those who say, why prepare here? Mm-hmm. Why fight for land here? Mm-hmm. Why talk about land here mm-hmm. when you're really looking to go forward mm-hmm. um, home? Oh. No, my sister, and to the world. No, I speak clear. I, when I speak, I speak clearly. I cannot see a repatriation from the transatlantic Descendants back in Africa in a spontaneous way, which means something just happened overnight. It cannot be like that. No, what we look at, for example, let's say 200,000 from Jamaica want repatriation. And if we should add that to the other nations in the Caribbean, West Indies, we go further to England, Canada, America, where we all are in diaspora. I ask a question now, which country in Africa? could facilitate and accommodate a mass influx of people, not with the ideology that we're going to live in trees or we're going to be some backward people, but in a civilized way. I don't see that. So that is why it is necessary that the Almighty God be revealed to take out his people. And after that, what is left will be burning fire. Because it's judgment, you know. It's not mm-hmm. a he for a butt. Mm-hmm. And we tell them when to. Mm-hmm. After this mark is unleashed, do all of us will see. Mm-hmm. And this mark is what again? It's a microchip implant in the flesh. In the flesh? Yes, ma'am. In the way we see. And he he done most fact, plant, it's not the brain, you know. What I say now, I challenge the listeners. Yes. Google, Google Sweden microchip and you will see what yes. they have to show. Yes. As a matter of fact, and, and I, I'd, yes, yeah, and, and I'd, I'd go further to, 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 to say to our listeners that, you, so, so they have been microchipping people and animals and, and so mm-hmm. on for, for many years. Though. As mm-hmm. a matter of fact, we had a conversation about that, if you remember, you know, <laughs> the first, the first, um, animal that they put the microchip in, I call, you know. Yeah, Dali uh, sheep. Uh, we talk, no, it wasn't Dali. It was a, it was a pet. I yeah. just come back from England and, and, and this whole thing was a news yeah. and it was a pet and they were tracing the pet through the microchip sure. and I call you about the technology. This. Yeah, and we said, where was that going to go next time? Ah. Um, so we had a discussion about it then. Mm-hmm. But now we have a, a, a different thing now where it, the, 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 you, you know, your microchip, the brain and you're, you're talking about transhumanism and so on. But at the same time, I hear you talking about the intergalactic travel, which has been happening, but you're saying, no, it is going to be... That is the end prophecy. That is the end prophecy. Mm-hmm. So what that's going to look like then, if it's the end prophecy? All right. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me graphically give an example. Mm-hmm. Even currently, the Israeli jets are bombarded, have bombarded Gaza. No, they, are gone, speak. they are gone into Rafa. Rafa. No. Yeah. And there are fleets. Mm-hmm. The same thing that day, which is referred to as Judgment Day, Isaiah 66, verse 15, will release Eilis Lassie, I will ships of fire. Because it's not a myth, you know. Mm-hmm. It is just around the corner. And I don't think we have 10 years for it to be finalized. Because mm-hmm. it's getting near and near. And that is why I... And if you well, could... Well, NATO you, said 20 years. Uh, no, no. They said within... Tw- NATO just said within 20 years. That's what NATO said. Yeah. With it, no, I'm just quoting them yes. because, you know, you said well, you don't have 10 well, years. Well, so, when I read the book, you know, the book say, for the Ilek sake, which is I and I, him shall shorten Lucifer time. So it is... That's why I say, out of this world war, it will bring in a new world order. The new world order will mandate a microchip in a draconian way. And for those that reject it, they're going to have a hard time surviving. And that is why I have sold my place for more than 25 years and have accessed a mountain, converted it into a living and a habitable society where we have our water like a virgin, no chlorine, we have fertile lands and we are feeding ourselves. We have our house, we have all that is needed. The only thing is that when the thing is exacerbated, I don't think it, it will be easy for us because, you see, you, 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 you cultivate today, it takes a time for you to harvest so we we gonna we gonna back because we're not looking for a manner to fall this time. So that the the intergalactic um, travel, which I say has been happening, has never stopped. It mm. has been happening. Mm. Um, there are many walking among us now. If we if we if we if we see if we have eyes to see third eye business, we can know not everybody a human being. Um, some are if set and so on and so forth. So we know that that intergalactic and and um, 
other otherworldly interaction is happening right now as we speak. All right. This might surprise so why you. then is that not? Right. This might surprise you. Here I am now, and I'll tell you, George, have you seen the fleet in the mountain the first time? Yes, I have. I have weakness here. What's that? Yeah, the chariots, madam. Oh, the chariots. I have a weakness here. Char- we're, talk we're, to me about it. The chariots yeah, of fire? Where, where, where are you at Nine Buckingham Avenue, the yes, first sir. new moon? Yes, so here is a weakness tonight. Both of us have seen the fleece on two separate occasions in the Blue Mountain and at Nine Buckingham Avenue. Talk to me about that. Well, let the judge give her. <laughs> let, let the judge oh, give judge her. me for calling on Lawrence, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking too much. Let the judge tell you what he saw. Come through, come through there. Yes. yes. Yeah, yes, man. Yes, it, was a, it was a Saturday night after we leaving Papine. We were keeping the Sabbath in Papine at that time. We went into the mountain and in the night there and we were looking up in the... Uh, we heard a bridge shouting out, so come look here, you know? Mm-hmm. So we look up in the heavens. So we saw lights, flashing lights all over the place. Fleets of chariots just... All over another place, just flying all over, and it was there for a long, 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 long time. So, so nobody not taking a picture or a video it no, or no, nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> at that, I was, I want to tell you at that time there wasn't even a whole of phone thing at that time either. Yeah. Oh. But then it reoccurred in the city at Nine Buchan Avenue in Dwayne Park. We went on a new moon duty. Mm-hmm. So it's sure. not only we that has Rasta sight this time. People that were there are bothered and believers. All type of people see it this time in the city. So it's not a myth or anything. It's something that we have seen two times. So we have to go and look up because we're redemption right now. Ah. <laughs> we, are, we are ready. We are waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you know. So, so uh, uh, it's it's a pity though that we're not seeing the photographs of, of those because we've seen recent. You're saying recent times in Kingston. Yes. 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 Um, and yeah. nobody took a photograph. No, Our people no, were shocked into into well, not being able to. Yeah, because it's spiritual, at the time, the spirituality where you feel at the time you were thinking of photograph at that time. Yeah, we didn't but you have a photographic memory, though. <laughs> and and you said this this the, 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 in terms of and both of you are concurring that this are, it's like it looked like chariots it, of it's fire. It's a congregation. I've oh, witnessed it. Not just us that are you oh, know. Oh, you're saying others. A many congregation was there. Mm-hmm. Lock off the place, circle in every formation. It has never left the circular appearance. If it is going up into the heavens, circles, neon lights. If it is going to the right, circle formation. To the left, into the city, up to high eyes, all over. As a matter of fact, it weary me. I've never seen anything like that in all my life. And that is what we wait for when that time is come. The word is rapture. What is left behind will be burning fire. Elijah and Elisha. <laughs> All right, or or, or, or um, or even Enoch. I mean, like Enoch you know, right. walking down right. on was not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let me take. Listen, let me take a quick break. Cause we're right back. <laughs> All right, we're trying to do this, you and um, hopefully, right. hopefully we'll get it done. So let me do this again. Well, I never. Okay. So, um, all right, let me try. Well, so we're going to have to get an, an engineer because everything just stopped working. Um, well, there you go. All right, let me do this again. Thank you so much, Rain, uh, for coming in and helping us to sort that out. You know, at um, three minutes after midnight, we're going to be opening the phone lines and taking your telephone calls. But even as we um, get ready for that, right as we speak and... and um, uh, priest Fagan uh, made reference to it just now. They're bombing uh, Rafa, they're bombing Jordan, they're bombing Yemen, they're bombing Syria, they're bombing Iraq. And uh, all of this is really happening in uh, a very strategic area, which means that continental Africa, land of Africa, land mass of Africa, which extends all the way uh, into those areas that was Africa, that those areas that were Af- was African land before the Ottoman Empire. And this is what we have. Well, for understanding history, you know, because uh, um, we, we had a reference from uh, our brother priest Dermot Fagan a while ago talking about those who came um, before 1948 and were there a long time before 1948. But understanding the history of the region, I think, is very critical to understanding the people who are there when they got there how they got there, and what happened after they got there. So we must know our history to understand where really are gone. And uh, we can tie some of it back to the Ottoman Empire, but we can even go beyond the Ottoman Empire. We can tie some of it back to the Crusades. 
a lot of it, as a matter of fact, can be tied back to the Crusades, but before that, and the Ottoman Empire, but that is another time. Uh, so all of that is happening as we speak. Right now, Jordan, this is another thing, you know, so everybody's been drawn into this war, right? Um, those who don't want to and those who want to. We see where Iran just posted a video that they have fired from uh, um, a warship in the Red Sea, somewhere out on on, um, on American targets. So there is a whole lot happening there. We're looking at Djibouti, where Djibouti is a very small country on the continent of Africa, probably one of the smallest, if not the smallest. But every single country is there. And what are they doing there? Every single one of these um, super, so-called superpowers, these warmongers, they have military bases right <laughs> in Africa, in Djibouti. So there you go. Uh, we're very concerned, and we're we're also watching it. We are beyond beyond the prophecies. We're also, um, I know, analysts. So we're watching to see how this work out. And a lot of us understand that when we see these things. We must begin to think about our own survival. And that is why food security, once again, is very important. Water security is important. How important is water, my, my brother Anthony? Repeat. How important is water? All right. Step to it. Give thanks, yeah. According to what the question just asked, we know that no one can survive without water, because water is the thing that grow. Plants, water, the thing that give us energy. So, after a proper water, we can sustain ourselves. That is why we are in the Blue Mountain now. Three to the five hundred feet above sea level, we run our own water system from the rocks where the water comes through the rocks. So we get our own water supplies because in, um, uh, give me a chance to explain. Um, in the city, I can't all the water system set up now is that domestic water full of chlorine and all these things. So. Right. The water is not really healthy for us. At the end of the day, and, and, yeah. it, and it's not all, it's also very controlled. Yes, yeah, so we each have, have our own water supply. It means that we know exactly what we are drinking. Because we use the water for our own farming, you know? Mm, Domestic mm. purposes. Domestic purposes. Mm, so we each mm. have, have our own water system to the catching peak system. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, well, at least we know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of us will know where to go. All right, at seven minutes after midnight, we're taking your telephone calls here inside of the cutting edge. My name is Carbo in for Muta, 974-5079, 974-5051, Is what? Where is that, please? I'm trying to pronounce your names. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. So it's a lo it's a, the, the A is long. The, so car and then a bo short. So it's carbo. Marat. Yeah, Maat. Maat. Kabu. Maat. Ka 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 no, not Bu. So it's Kabu. 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 Yeah. Because Ka is spirit. Uh -huh. Ka right? Yeah. So Ka. Ka. So, so if, Ka if, 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 no, if it's a spirit first, Ka. Yeah, Kabu. Maat. Right, so it's Kabu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maat. 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 Yeah. yeah. Keru. 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 But Maat Keru is really one, uh, one, Keru. one term. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. It's, it says not. It's not two separate. It's it, it it it's written like two separate words, but together mm. it means one thing, mm -hmm. right? Maat keru. It means, right. and it's really pronounced maat shu, mm -hmm. but because we we do what we do, like you said, the King James version, we just go with the keru. Mm -hmm. It's easier for the tongue. Yeah. So, <laughs> 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 so, um, <laughs> so we're taking it. So six one eight. 0352. So the number is 974-5079-974-5051-974-5043 and 618-0352. Please put 876 before the, those numbers and we're taking your telephone calls right now. Just to say, we were also scheduled to speak with Bishop um, Joshua Maponga, but theologian, philosopher, author, public speaker, musician, artist, Fashion expert and so enthusiast, but we we're not able to get him. On the, he's not answering. That's so, a bridge, uh, rough and tough. 
Yes, you, you know, yeah. Of course, I access him on the internet. Yes. Terribly. He's on the island, you know. Yeah, okay. I'm glad yeah. To hear um, so we were scheduled to speak with him tonight. If you are listening and you're anywhere near him, tell him we've been trying to get him, um, Bishop Joshua Mapongo. Um, the third, uh, was scheduled to be live on this program tonight, but we're not getting through on the telephone number that, um, he gave to us. In the meantime, though, the phone lines are open. I'd asked, um, Priest Fagan, and I know it's kind of late in the night now, um, if we could have get a chant or two. A chant? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the right man is here. Uh, is who? That a judge? He's the least sick guy. That a judge? Yeah. You see me not when I look for him, though. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yes, because if you look, you know, I mean, I really care the music, you know, <laughs> because we say, you know, it's just a far right chant, you know, um, school of vision. So if, if you're ready, you know, George, I did, you know, my father used to say, lay no man, lay hand on no man suddenly. You're going to feel the drum right on the desk right there. Yeah, man, play the drum, whatever. Yeah, man, play the drum, whatever. Yes. Yeah, the way. Captivity and 
and require from I a song. Hey, in a young man, say, oh, can I not cross the forest now in a street land? Hey, da. The time on IVFM is 16 minutes after 12 o'clock. The wait is over. MRI now available at Omega Medical Hospital in Negril. Our state-of-the-art MRI offers a larger examination space with advanced imaging quality. 5% introductory discount on all MRI scans. Same-day results are also available. Visit Omega Medical Hospital today. Call us at 957-9223 for more information. Omega Medical Hospital, your health care provider of choice. So, like what you cooking for Lent? Me, me I go with Grace all the way. Them have everything me need cause me watching what me eat and drink for Lent. Grace, mackerel, sardines, baked beans, quinoa, oats and cock soup. Then me can wash them down with Mighty Mart and Tropical Redeem. Then that not sound bad. And the best part, Grace products easy to find. You can pick them up at the supermarket, wholesales and the little corner shop. This Lent, elevate your dishes and nourish your body with a wide range of products. Choose Grace for Lent and savor the taste that moves you. February the 16th, 2024, it's DJ Brian's birthday celebration at Aria Films Parking Lot in Ocho Rios. DJ Brian, turn up the parking lot with musical jumping by Johnny Cole, DJ Lollipop, and Illusion Sound. Admission 1000 to get in, powered by Premium Rush and Full Speed Entertainment with a live performance by Javelani, Enhanced, and special guest artists. Sponsored by Aria Films, Massive Auto, RS Hillview Import Rental and Trucking Service, and Sparkles Auto. It's DJ Brian's birthday! Experience Jamaica from a different point of view at Oceans on the Ridge, Shaw Park, Ojeria's. Enjoy authentic Jamaican cuisine, live daytime music, relaxing surroundings, or our nightlife and romantic sunsets. Be at ease in the breeze at Oceans on the Ridge, 974-6290. Big ships sailing on the ocean. We don't need no commotion. Start to make a carnival season with Marshall Montana. Problem child. And Nyla Blackman. Also Travis World and Private Ryan. All performing, performing live. live. BRT Weekend. Ocho Rios, Rios Jamaica. Jamaica. All inclusive. With free drinks and food. At Pearly Beach. Ocho Rios. Jamaica. March 1st to March 10th, 2024. Tickets available now at BRTWeekend.com. What a vibe in the studio. What a vibe. What a spiritual vibe. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my brothers. That chant was really something else. You know, I felt it, man, at a serious spiritual level. Serious, serious. And we're not even sing new name yet. So wait until we sing new name. Jackal. Uh, moment. Moment. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, so we're going to go to the phone lines. I understand that we have quite a few callers holding, so we get through as many as possible before we go back to the chanting. Let me see if this caller is still on, on hold. Uh, greetings. Hello. 
my apologies. Uh, yes, you'll be holding for a while. My apologies. Uh, Greetings. Good night. Good night. Yes. Uh, yes. Guest horse and the guest of the guest horse. Yes. Um, you know, sometimes I know your people like okay. No, you I, know, me not hear you. Me not hear you too well. Instead of, you know, at them say Jesus, them say Jesus, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but we think the, 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 the pronunciation is better than say Jesus, because that's what it used to be pronounced. Because remember, say J, the letter J, it's at least not the letter J, the pronunciation mm-hmm. of J is only about 500 years old, right? All right, so let me let me let me let me let, me let priest um, Fagan because he's he said a few things. He said um, Jesus and you also said Yeshua, um, priest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you, right. you respond to. No, I want to declare myself clearly, not only to who have just asked the question, but the world at large. In my regard, I learned in school from elementary. Any word that is spelled by even one letter that is out of context, you will get an X. Instead of a tick. And that mm-hmm. must be clear. What the Rastafari is saying that the name of the Savior in Hebrew is as written in the book is Emmanuel. That is a Hebrew word. Yeah. For some reason it is equated to Yeshua, still restricting to the Hebrew language. No, I am not in agreement or in supportance of any man's name sh- should be changed without the legal process. For example, uh. my name by birth. And record is Dermot Fagan. Anywhere I go, no matter what language mm. you speak, I'm expecting you to call me by my name. Yeah. But for reasons then beyond my control, they say Yeshua in the Greek tongue is not referred to as Yeshua. In the classical Greek, it is Iesus Christus. Uh-huh. They also say Jesus Christus. Jesus uh-huh. is the name. Christus is the savior. It, no, in, in, the, in the translation linguistically from Greek. To Roman, they say Isus, and you will find that in the Vulgate, which is the Latin Bible. Now we say, in the time of, uh, in, the, in the 15th to 16th century, um, England break away from Rome and declare the Church of England protesting Romanism, and from that Vulgate, Isus now was put in the English Bible, and upon the arrival of the 15th century, in the time of Tyndale, the letter J was joined to E S U S. Now, the problem and confusion is that, and for example, Sister um, Kabu, I've said earlier, and it is written Second Timothy 2, verse 15, classically, that you are to study to show yourself approved unto the Almighty, a work and not being ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. So I know I'm saying that to divide the word of truth, you would have to apply the English rule known as syllable. Be mindful that the syllable cannot be effectual in one letter. It has to be two or more. So the first application would be J-E. You would never get J. G or G. J is a consonant. E is a vowel. The first sharp pronunciation would be J for J-E. Three letters are left. S-U-S. Suspect, sustain, etc. So the Rasta man said, just us. Well, I know. In right. Right, Okay, you want to you, you, pause a minute. Did, did you want to say something there? Yes, um, yes. What may I try to say? Mm-hmm. Like what you said, J. Right? Mm-hmm. But the, the first, the first time, J was always in the, in the alphabet, you know. Well, mm-hmm. not all the time, but it was uh, an I. You, you notice when you write, it's a school, like I say, small J got on, because that was right, mm-hmm. and just have a curve. Mm-hmm. That's because it was an I. Because mm-hmm. remember, I said letters represent, um, sounds, right? Mm-hmm. So, they are, yeah, in I, in 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 English, mm-hmm. not even in Latin, in English, mm-hmm. because English got so many different languages. Mm-hmm. I represent more than one sound, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. we have twenty six letters, but most of both forty one mm-hmm. um, phonemes are sounds mm-hmm. where they represent, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So the I was you remember the word fiard. You're learning at school, F J I O R D. Don't. Can I say something? Mm-hmm. And it, yes. So that, cause, you know, give thanks for the eye. But let me be clear again, that there be no confusion. No, you have what is known as a dictionary. You will agree to that. Yeah. When I put this onto the world, consult the dictionary, and you will find three letters, J E S, come from Jesse. No argument. 
J E S S I C A Jessica, J E S U I T U Jesuit, J E S T E R Jester. So we are saying now and insisting that in that same kind of logical aspect, J E S U S must be Jesus without any so argument. Let me, let me ask uh, a question. Listen, 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 let listen, me ask listen. a question. Right, go older. ahead, go ahead and go ahead and make a point. Yeah. To me? Mm-hmm. Yes, you are saying. All right. What I'm saying is this. Letter J before before they got that song. They got that song from 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 French, right? The J. The English were looking for a letter to represent the the, the French song J because they didn't have one, right? And they they just took that I and changed it in fifteen hundred or something. I think it was an Italian that changed it anyway, and, and, and mm-hmm. changed the pronunciation to J instead of Y. It was an I sound. That's why I was telling you about fjord. That's why fjord pronounced like that. F-J-I-O-R-D. And it's fjord. Because you have I, the, the I have a sound for I, and it have a sound for E, like B-I-T, bit, right? But when they want to, the short I to be a little longer, they put that J behind. So, so let, me, let, let me ask the question, before. because both, both points are well taken, and um, you're right about when about the, the fact that J was added um, later on. But let me ask a question. Um, Not wait, J, uh, the, the pronunciation. The pronunciation. But let, let, me, let, me ask you, let me ask you a question, um, uh, Priest Fagan, because you, you said in, in response um, that it was sometime later that the name itself, mm-hmm. the name wasn't always there. You talk about Emmanuel and Yeshua, mm-hmm. and then some. Some time later, mm-hmm. that word itself, J E S U S, um, entered mm-hmm. the, the, the the book. Uh, yeah, right. So, uh, uh um, how so? How Rusty, Sister Audrey, before the ring on the radio, we can't answer it. <laughs> All right, yeah, yes, go ahead. We yeah. are saying that there was no problem before the letter J was giant to E S U S. No, forget the letter, but 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 the, the, that concept, that name itself, J E S U S, that it was not originally in the Bible. No. But that it was added much later. At a later time. Right. And so who added it mm-hmm. and why? Mm-hmm. Because we're gonna to have to go back to mm-hmm. the Council of Nicaea. All right. And, and we, we have saying... to talk about that Council of Nicaea where they determined yeah. Whether or not they should put that name in the book, mm-hmm. and when they decided mm-hmm. the the character mm-hmm. and the personality mm-hmm. of that name, mm-hmm. and so and it's an interesting thing that we must we must talk about, you know, Priest Fagan. I want to give a light, a slight elaboration for. You understand what I'm saying, my brother? Yes. All right. I, I, I want Sister Cabo. Yes. I want to, uh, I, I, yes, I'm I want yes. to supply something that yes. might be found astonishing. Now, if we would agree. By the application of the syllable, which is allowed in the English language, there would be no argument that the pronunciation... Yeah, which, no matter where you pronounce it, it never did it. it no, was, it's priest. No matter I, what you call right, it, you so know, look here. it was put all in right, the so Bible. My sister, so my sister what and the, listeners, I say this. If there is no J-E-S in the Bible, we would leave me talking about it. Cause I, I wouldn't have an what, argument with Yeshua. But, but I wouldn't have was, an argument with Iasus. But the problem now is it, that it, when it, you I, see... The five letters, J-E-S-U-S, for some reason, which I know why, it has been polluted to a different sound and a different image. Now, what this person may not realize that, that Jesus, that is not in J-E-S, that is a pentagram power, it is lies. And that is how you find a white Jesus, and the power that is reflected is 333 degrees, indifferent to 360. This virgin might not be aware. Oh, but I'm just saying... That J, it's like, just like in, in the name Jamaica. Mm. It wasn't Jamaica at first, it was Jamaica. That's why it's sometimes spelled with X-I, the Greek. As, as a matter of fact, the, arche- <laughs> the archaeologist says, no, you know, the archaeologist, as a matter of fact, the name, the, the pronunciation slipped me now, it wasn't even that. And it's a same, it's a very, as a very good example you're using, because they tell us that it is X-A, but the archaeologist will tell you that no. Um, and they have another pronunciation, and I promise you that I'll come back on Sunday well, listen, to tell you what but, it is. But, but yeah. I read it, yeah, okay. Any, any, any research you do on some places, like you say, to go as close as to the origin as possible, right? Like the set I don't, I don't whatever, think right? so. I don't think so. Because, you know, because what about the Council of, the, this Councils of Nicaea? We must go back to the Council of Nicaea. We must read every single argument that was made mm-hmm. and how that decision was made mm-hmm. to put that name there and what that would have represented. I think that is where we have to go before we determine how we pronounce the word. This is just my, 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 my thought. Is not, it, it, all that come from the arrogance of the, of the, 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 the Greeks and the Romans, you know. The pro- because them, them want to just change people's name, change people's name. 
see them where them come to America, then change the Indian them name, them change the black man name, it change everybody name. Right? And Sister Kamu, you remember I said earlier, and if the Virgin was listening, which respectfully I said, that I am not in supportance of a person's name to uh, be changed with the legal That's process. Right. So we are not responsible for what was given on mm. us. I don't need Paul like what we do. Ah. Thank, thank you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for calling. Yeah? Okay. All right. But, but he's raised a point here that is worth discussing, and I think that. Um, even while we discuss this, because I know that it's been out there a lot that people say, I mean, how do you pronounce this? And, and some people say, yeah, sure. And some people say, um, you know, Jesus. And, and of course, then you have other pronunciation. But, but, but priest, the, the name. Mm-hmm. All right. Let, let me hold that question because I don't want to hold up the calls who are coming in. I, I hold that question. Let me go back to the phone lines. Uh, greetings. Hello. Good night. Yes. Greetings. How are you doing? Romel, number 12, I used to talk about Rock Spring. Uh, may I tell you yeah. where, the, where, the original, where the original people come from? Yeah, you know what yes. I'm saying? I listen to you and what you say to the man about Jesus. No, that, that is pre- priest, that priest, that priest that Fagan. Priest, priest Fagan. I never call against them, the man. I never yes. really that topic that I want to touch it, you know, yes. but to me here, it may have a clarification on that because you want to tell them something where to me you're right, you know. Mm-hmm. The name Jesus added to the Bible right out spot Matthew. Matthew come in. Tell him say something all right. Mm-hmm. That name Jesus they come to hold us in a slavery. Mm-hmm. It comes through slavery, Christianity as slavery. Yeah, we, it, there's nothing wrong with questioning everything that we know. And yeah. then to determine who we are, because energy, frequency, and vibration is all there is. Time is an illusion, yeah. space is everything. And if we yeah. understand ourselves within them concept there, then we, are, we understand, you know, as uh, Priest Fagan was saying earlier, understanding ourselves as gods, understanding ourselves as part of, 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 of that energy, frequency, and vibration, and even understanding the oneness then of ourselves as part of that energy. But you say yeah. you want you said you wanted to do something. You wanted to say something else. Yeah, the main thing I want mm-hmm. to say. Mm-hmm. Since nineteen eighty I've never seen nothing like this in politics. What that? Um the people living in the street as one, whether you're red or whether you're green. People are living yeah, as one? The love that I've seen within politics now I've never seen it before. It's part of a rock, man, a rock spring at about, you know, come in and see that. No, well, with the love when we see the people jumping red and green dancing together. Even a mile parish in Greenville when I look and see how the people um, enjoying themselves. That's good, that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. Big up the old Jamaica mm. and ask everybody to just keep it real that way that come the end of the day. When politics over, we are the same people. My brother, thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. I'm so sorry. I have to go just to take a quick break. But thank yeah. you, my brother, for yeah. that. Well yeah. said. Yeah. yeah. Inside of the Step and Razor, and that's in the afternoon. Hey, by the way, there's another mass shooting in uh, the United States. And uh, this is really so sad, you know. Uh, this is during the celebrations for the Kansas City um, Chiefs who won the Super Bowl. And uh, so this is, you know, in a very crowded place. We understand that one person died, 21 people um, wounded. Mm-hmm. might be more than that. I'm not quite sure um, what, what the numbers are now, but that happened earlier today. And this is one of the reasons why... You know, condolences to, to everyone uh, and to the families and 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 all. Yes, this yes. is one of the reasons why I've said that. I, I'm not quite sure why Jamaica feels as if you know there's a powerlessness um, devoured. Uh, our leaders are devoured by by powerlessness, so that there is a, a credible threat to your life when you go into the United States and um, we should put out travel warnings we should say be careful because you have mass shootings just turning up I mean you can be anywhere at any time because of their laws um, regarding guns and everybody can own a gun anywhere anywhere or almost you know how it is right so arms. that right to bear arms so 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 we do uh, you put that out in the same way that they're using political and diplomatic manipulation uh, to cripple 
Jamaica's tourism industry, I, you know, I do not support the, the tourism industry as it is, but I'm just saying what I, what I see that they're using these travel advisories to cripple Jamaica's tourism industry. And they're doing that deliberately because they want Jamaica to do something. What is it that they want Jamaica to do? I am sure the prime minister knows. The minister of foreign affairs knows and some other people know. They know why America has put out travel advisories at this time against Jamaica. <laughs> they know that they are being pressured to do something, whether it is to vote at the UN, or vote at the Israel, or vote at the ICJ, or me no know, but something they know. Let me go to the phone lines. Uh, oops, all right, was that me? Mm. All right, so, uh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm, I must have disconnected that call. So, 974-5079-5051-5043 and 618-0352. Put 876 before those. Those are the numbers to call. I know the callers have been holding. So, go ahead, Rain, and send in the callers you have. I think I accidentally um, disconnected somebody there now. All right. So, she came to tell me that there were a lot of callers holding. So, let me see what's happening. Rain, are you there? Just send in. In the meantime, though, we can, um, I can take another chant. Uh, oh, no, hang on. <laughs> Before George knows, so I'll take a deep breath and I say, no, I'm in a chant no more tonight. <laughs> greetings. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, caller, greetings. Greetings. Yes, greetings. Kibir, Wadey, Kual, Kibir, Wadey, Dimitri. Greetings, Sister Kabu. Greetings, my brother Asti. Greetings, God, my brethren. Yes. In the studio with you. Yes. Yeli Ai. Yeli Ai. Yeli Ai. I know it was you, Asti. But I hear you. I know it was you. Yeah, man. Yeah. What a joy. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I. You're our teacher in Yamare. <laughs> yes, um, yes. Because I came up by the high, high mountains and you gave a book to I that you had for you so many years. I've been to you by, by Ethiopia and mm -hmm. and I came up there. Yes. In the, you know. in the Blue Mountains. Yes. Mm. It's been a weekend up there with, 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 with. Prince, Prince, Prince Fagan Fe, Fe, yes. and, and family, you know. Mm -hmm. We have so much in common. We're born the same month, <laughs> same year. Yes. Like Both that. of us did like time in, in the army at the same time. Yes. You know, yeah, we have a lot in common. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm fascinated by, 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 by the language. Mm -hmm. right? so, and, and there was some reason pertaining to different languages that the Bible was, you know, written in and Yes. And all of that. Y yes. What what's your what's your take on it? What's your perspective? Um the the Amaringa or the Gis is among the first languages that is that was spoken by man. Okay. You know, it's it's well, we know when you, when you go into the into the into, into Kemet because we, we, we don't we don't really want to say Egypt because it's so yeah it's yeah. an entire region actually yeah. all right mm -hmm. we see on the hieroglyphics we see we, we yeah. see on the wall yeah the Medunetta. you right the Medunetta. Yeah. but but it all belongs to I like it it's our keyboard land. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. but the the, the gaze is, is 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 a churchical language. It, it, even in Ethiopia, the the, the 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 ordinary Ethiopian 
doesn't know like geese like that. You know, it, it's like mm-hmm. it, it's it a priest, belongs to the, yeah. It's almost like a sacred yeah. language, you know. Right. It's, it's a priest. And, and, mm-hmm. And, and and um the names of of Christ. When I when when we visited Ethiopia, like it is like our two years now time has, has taken to itself wings. Mm. We, we 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 my first visit um official place that we went was the the Haile Selassie Tower Haido Cathedral in, in Addis Ababa. Yes. And it wasn't a church day, but we, you know, we were, we, we, we you know, we, we told the God who we are and what's our mission. And, you know, the, the Rabuna tell him to bring us. And, we, you know, we went. Mm-hmm. We put our fires before the throne and all that. All that. Mm-hmm. But the... Did, the, the did, did you get a chance to see the any of the, the texts, the Bible in the, in the ancient gates? No, but more than that. Mm-hmm. The Abuna show me the, the paintings on the wall. Show you the chronology of the of of, of, of the Christ family, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. It, you know they, they said like Jesus Christos and come right around and mm-hmm. talk about David Solomon. Mm-hmm. You know David in in Amarink. and then when we come right round, there's a, 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 a um a replica of the ark. And behind it, the throne, the two thrones, a replica of the ark in the center, and behind it and on the wall, there's a, a portrait of his imperial majesty. And and he said, all of those then, highly, Selassie, mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. So, so it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Chris Vegan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, but saying, mm-hmm. all those different names, that's why Jamaica... All they are pretending to be so holy, they are worshiping in the wrong name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and believe it, we know word sound is power. That's no joke. Oh, of course, every it's not just it, not just even the word, but every single letter. That's why them tell you if you spell it. Call right. Them, call them working a spell on you. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why. That's why I even, I don't call. For my start to, to tap into the Amaringa Kwankwa, I, I, I don't acknowledge Ayla Selassie as Cha anymore because if, 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 if I was called upon or any one of I and I mm-hmm. to, 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 to address His Imperial Majesty to a, to an international gathering, we couldn't go up there and say Cha Rastafari. Mm-hmm. As a soldier, we know that His Imperial Majesty isn't even Rastafari anymore. He was Rastafari when he was a child right. or a teenager. In terms of no, in he, terms of Ras being a title meaning um, right, right. Prince and then Tafari. The, right. The, the, so the now, now that he was no he he, he was he, he was born who he is. But in, in the second of November nineteen thirty, they officiated. So I think it's imperative that the world, not just Rastafari, acknowledge and address address his imperial majesty as as Xavier Kadamawe Haile Selassie. Ah, okay. Yes, go ahead, priest. Yes, yeah, um, my lord priest. Come close, come closer, priest. Come, yes, come, yeah. uh, my lord priest. Yes, yes, my lord. I, I, I want to I want to introduce an argument here or a reason. No, and I'm saying this for clarity. True intelligence. So let us be reasonable now. Now, look at it this way. His Majesty, Lij Tafari, in Amaric, Prince, eh? Born yes. the 23rd of July, yes. eight, born, yes. born, born the 20, the, the, the 23rd of July, 1892. And that is clear now. What is also clear to me is that since he was born at that time, it is quite clear that in the, the same book here that him say we are to glorify him too. It is said in Psalm 68, verse 4, Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. Exalt him or extol him that ride upon the heavens by his name. And in the Hebrew language, which is different from Aram, Am, Amaret, you would find the word Y-H-W-H that would pronounce Yah. For some reason, 
in the linguistic translation from a certain time earlier, you would find Y-A-H, giving the same sound, ya. So we know there was no J in the, he- in the English language until the 15th century. So this is where you find the confusion now, where they say there's no J in the Hebrew language as if to disacknowledge the name of Jah. So what I and I know is that in the birth of Isaac Selassie, that was the fulfillment. That's why the Rastaman from ancient times said Jah Rastafari, which means accrediting the name Jah to his majesty because in the coronation and the birth name not birth but the baptismal name that was given to Lige 40 days old as the power of the trinity to me that is a definition that Ayali Selassie is the same God Almighty in the name of Jah you know the name Jah or Yah in Hebrew is different from Yahweh different from Elohim different from Yahura which is Jehovah so I am not confused in this area Okay, um, let me just, you know, let me just run through this fast, if I, if I may. Mm, go ahead. Um, it's just like three, it's like about two verses or three verses. Mm-hmm. Therefore, wait ye upon me, say the most I, until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I return to the people a pure language that they may call upon me the name of the Most High to serve him in one consent from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. My suppliants, even the, 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 the daughters of my dispersed, shall bring my offering. Why I touch that is, even though this is the James King version of the Bible, it's still, certain things are still there. Certain instructions. You know, he, he, he managed to say, no matter what, how they try to hide this, you know, it, it was still the truth. You can the, still find are, and, and I do agree that there are many truths that come through. Um, Psalm is written by Akhenaton. I mean, that is, that that we know. Um, Some of what you just read um, there, we recognize it from the Hosea. We recognize it from our own ancient writings. And I think that we're going to have to begin to ask, to whom is he speaking? Of whom is he speaking? Of what is he speaking? Because it is not always for everyone and sometimes it comes from the book of coming forth by day which is specific to the burial of a king and and this is and these are some of the things that i think that we are going to have to begin to 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 to, to revisit you know understanding of what we are reading through the pages of any, 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 any historical book or any Bible. This is just my own, my own perce- per- perspective on all of this, Rasti. I think we have to begin to understand it. Just like how you understand it in the, uh, from the language and you can, you can help us to understand what is, what is being said from Amharic to, to English. That, that we also have to begin to, if we are to understand, are to overstand, all that we have been reading for such a long time that I think we must also understand where it came from, who write it, and when. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you, my brother. Um, heal up Sister Audrey for me. We'll we, 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 we do. Just one short. Yes. Before I go, um, I think we all know that each word or each language function. In, in, in its own frequency. 
when it when it goes out true. there, the sound, the 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 the, the, yeah. the, the effect. Yes, true. It is it, it, different. Yes. So 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 it's important. Yes. I that, agree. that we, we keep that in mind when we, when we speak. And the English language is, we are using it. It, it, it is low a, frequency. This is a, it low it is frequency. low frequency and it is a devil's language. And, I, and mm. honestly, it, they, 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 we, we, one of the reasons why we have forgotten God and one of the reasons why we do not know ourselves is because mm. our tongues are imprisoned by this devil language. A and and, and we are to begin to know our own language to understand ourselves because every single letter of this English language language carrying up spell that is taboo, keeping us in no, bondage yes sorry, yes, sister. You, we, we, we would be surprised to know the amount of intellects even in the rastafarian movement who are afraid to even try to to say Ixiabir. Ixiabir. i understand i understand um, we, it, there is, there's going to, <laughs> my name it's is, it's a colonization I, of the mind and the spirit, you, you to, 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 exactly. to say, I, I want to throw, you have to put your own soul into it. But we have to, it's going to take a paradigm shift. When I found myself journeying on this path towards my spirit, I, my name revealed itself unto me and my thing was, I changed it by deed poll immediately understanding what it is. The first, na- the first name is four letters. Most Jamaicans, when I tell them my name, they have a difficult time pronouncing it. But here's the thing. They will pronounce <laughs> François. Right. They will say yes, François. Yes, they, will say they will say Charlotte. They will say Penelope. But right. they, but they have a problem because, because this is the thing. Our tongues are imprisoned by the enslavers language. Yes, go ahead, my brother. All right. I want to make another. Reflection here, and that is not just limiting to us that are here and my friend, my personal friend here, Rusty, which we regard as our Amri teacher. But I want to be clear in saying this for our public interest. <clears throat> now, I am finding a problem amongst us as Rastafarians, and the problem is that for us, let's say we respect the majesty. Let us look at what the majesty said. You guys see, that is how I differentiate. The rust that is genuine and the non-genuine parts. His Majesty said, "We in Ethiopia, I see. I follow the voice, you know, my sister and, and my teacher here. I have the Holy Scripture, thirty-nine into twenty-seven, sixty-six books. It is not finished for me. I have gone further into the auto biography in continuation of that same trend, which is the word. Yes, yes. I have gone through the selected speeches." important utterance. So I am not limiting myself only to the Bible. So I am in full support with the ideology that we are children of our four parents in bondage. Huh? Yes. We have lost... But our... finish the quote, because we in Ethiopia have one of the oldest versions, yes. you're going to say. But don't matter what yes. the language, this is the crux of the matter, don't matter what language it it, which means the book is written into, the word remain the same and one. It transcend, which means go beyond boundaries, empire, and race. It is eternal. The Majesty also said that except a man accept the Bible with a clear conscience, there's no hope for salvation. So you see a man like I know, all I want the world to know that. For example, here we are. Why do you think the Majesty said we in Ethiopia have one of it the oldest? It is to show you. Okay, there why, you did, go. why did the Majesty say I, I we in that. Ethiopia have I, one I of the oldest versions? I can explain that. I would say the first language Giz, but the average Ethiopian did not speak Giz, and that is was necessary for a translation from the Giz to the Hamaric, making it more possible for the citizens then, Ethiopia. And so many of our study. brothers and sisters can speak. Ah, all right. right. So here so. now, here what is the crux So Let us be reasonable. We are Africans in diaspora. 400 years of separation from our names, as we have mentioned, culture, tradition, and language. So he says, no matter what language it is written, it remains the same. So I say, praise ye the Lord today. That even though it was a slave language, it enabled us to relate to the word, and that is where I stand. The, the point I want to make is that this, we probably have to walk the same path through which we were um, colonized to free ourselves. And so if it is going to go back through the... the, 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 the right, to, to find ourselves. I am in support and, of and that. And so, so, so this is basically um, what, 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 what I think when it comes to even the idea of... of, of, of 
especially this very latest version or one of the latest versions, authorized by a man with no morals. Um, my All point, right. Um, yes. Just, just, just one last thing again. Yes. <laughs> um, I, 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 I go through the, 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 the I'm outing a Bible and I, I, and I also go through the, 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 the King James version. All right. In the, in the King James version of the Bible, there's a part that says about the Last Supper, mm -hmm. Jesus ordered bread and fish for the Last Supper, right? Mm hmm in 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 the Amaringa Kwankwa, it's it, it says Jesus Christus ordered Tej and Injira. Mm. That is distinct Ethiopian mm -hmm. to order Tej and Injira. That, that that that's an integral part of the of of, of the, the the Ethiopian diet of, of the culture. It's deep within yes. the culture because they, they are living. Bird is is, is yes. in Gila. Yes, and so that immediately you see how ch cultural changes. You know and, that and is so yes. with know that it's Ethiopian story yes. belongs yeah. to us. Yeah, you know. So yeah, yeah. and give thanks, my brother, and and bless. Yes. And the America tomorrow, let's let's continue to bless you and family and. And Sister Kabu and give Thank thanks. Thank you so much, my brother, and to you too and family. Yeah, give thanks. Give thanks. I like, I like. Side of the cutting edge, Kabu in for Muta, in with uh, priest Dermot Fagan, founder of his Imperial Majesty <laughs> School of uh, Vision, Anthony Gordon, the Assistant Minister of Agriculture in the School of Vision, and George Lyston, able General Secretary. You know, um, we just came through that Nyabingi chant session there, you know, and we spirit up on a high, 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 high. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, yeah. so, about 18 after 1 o'clock. Let me go to the phone lines. Uh, greetings. Greetings. Listen, thank you so much for holding, because I know you've been holding. You hold through the Naya Bingi, but I know you did not feel the vibe, right? Yeah, man. I'm 53 minutes now. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I was at home. Yes, my apologies, my apologies. We still have full job the program, so. Yes. Give yeah. thanks, give thanks. Your blessed night in a carbo. Yeah, man. Give thanks, my brother, to you yeah, too. Yeah, and, and to Priest Fagan and the rest of the planet. One love, Rastafari. Yeah, man. Give thanks, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah, me do that. Me go and listen to the whole program. Me do full job the program, you know? Yeah. But now, we are in for that thing. Yeah. Yeah, me do the, the, the priest to that quote, I think, from Rastafari about the Bible. Mm-hmm. About no matter what tongues or language. Language, yes. Yeah, yeah. But Rastafari was also a defender of the faith and not of the church, and the church is respons and the church is responsible for the Bible. I have a lot of people in the world who never read the Bible yet. Never, no, 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 about Jesus and him something. They never mm -hmm. read the Bible yet. But my take, I mean, we mm -hmm. have the Bible one and a half times. Yes. Psalms 19, let me stop. I couldn't. <laughs> <Wait a minute. laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> but you didn't read it one time before. Yeah, yeah, we read it at one time, and I did try it at that time, but Psalms 19 showed me. Yeah, and the, and the prophet God did say to read it, you know, from cover yeah, to cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I see the Bible. The Bible The Bible is a book of confusion, you know. Gotcha. Lots yeah. of confusion. Well, the priest said, Bible is a book. But we have to speak of the Bible, we get in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. You know, the King James Version, I read the Bible and everything. The yeah. Bible full of too much mistake. And full of too much confusion. For a book that's written by a man of God inspiration, God, that, 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 that used to control, you know. That I used to click to the Bible. Say it was written by a man of God inspiration. But God never tell nobody that still. <laughs> but if, but if, well, Anna, yes. But, but my question is, Cabo. Cabo. Yes. Yes. God, the, the, the concept of God. Does, God. does God create man and man create God? But I like to ask the priest that. All right. First of all, <clears throat> two things I will address to you, my brethren, respectfully. You yeah. say I? Yeah. You say word, sound, and power. I don't have a problem with that. You know what I do? Yeah. I try to analyze word for myself to see the effect or the meaning. And just like I said earlier, there is a book known as the dictionary. And you will find the dictionary declare what God should mean. And I would challenge that. Yeah, I look at it. So when I read yeah. the dictionary... I see God mean as supreme, which is an attribute. It's also referred to as 
a supernatural. That's another attribute. And also, another one is most eye and deity. So you see, I know, using eye when I had now, without a man I tell I how to determine. When I find out now, in the book now, for example, I give you two scriptures. There are many skepticism towards the Bible, and I'm not here to argue it, but I will give my intake. Now, actually, what brings me into the faith of Rastafari is Revelation 5, from verse 1 to 5, and I will challenge anyone. What I read is that John said, I saw, I see in Bible here where people are skeptical, I read it, and the book says, I saw in the right hand of him that sit upon a throne. A book written within and sealed on the back side with seven seals. John said, I heard a voice that says, Who is able to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof? And you have the affixation of a question sign. It continued to say, But no man in heaven nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, not even to look in it. Causing John now to say, and I wept much. While the virgin was crying, the virgin said, but I heard a voice that says, weep not. The word behold mean observe. The yes. conquering lion of the tri, and that is in the 18th century Bible. These new Bibles now, they move out the word conquering to say just a lion of Judah. But I'm here yes, to say, yes, I'm please. stipulatively, behold the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, had prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. So you know what I question when I read that in America? The question I, I, I the, well, I know, the question I ask is, who is the conquering land of the tribe of Judah? And it was declared to me, it is Isla Celestia Aya. To me, it yeah, done that. We're not this and is my only king. And you're right. Another, another thing I want to make clear to the eye, there are some that say Selassie is defender of the faith. No, what are we saying? No, there are many faiths around. You have Islam, you have Buddhists, you have Christianity, and you have the Rastafari faith. So, you know, what they will not tell you is Majesty title, and not only this, just much, which is the keeper of the door, is defender of what? The Christian faith coming from the Coptic order, because they have gone all them things, you know. And that is why you find his majesty, you know, growing up until the age of 83 into translation, that man never left the book and the church. So what we have here is a misrepresentation of his majesty by some that try to put away the book as if there is no relevance or importance in it. I, I, I give you one more thing. When I read the same book, I read First Timothy Chapter 6, the same book, you know, that is, uh, that some people are questioning that as if it is not authentic. I read 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 13, 14, and 15, where St. Paul the Apostle said unto Timothy, I charge you, Timothy, in the sight of God, who quickened all things and before Christ, Jesus Christus. And what him says, who was before Pontius Pilate, witness a good confession, referring you to the captivity crucifixion. Him says here, before Pontius Pilate, witness a good confession. What is it? That thou keepest the commandment without spots, unrebukably, until the appearing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christus. Verse 15 says, which in his times, he, which is Jesus, will show, who is the blessed and only, and we underline the word only, King of kings and Lord of love. brother, no man can't change that. And that is why now, on the 2nd of November, 1930, we had a conspicuous Coronation yeah. of what? Yeah. 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 So it done right there, so. Uh, so. So just to go back, yeah, go ahead, my brother, because you, you were saying before that uh, for you there's just too much confusion. There's, um, does that help in terms of the, the point that you were making and do you want to build up on the point you were making? Yeah, what me answer? Mm. Why well, I say the Bible for black people? The Bible, the Bible, I feel like the Bible is a, the, no, like, the Bible is not a book for black people. I've said too many mistakes, too many confusions. And the Bible is a book that promotes incest. It promotes, it promotes too much, too much negative energy for a book that is a man of God inspiration. And why a book of God inspiration would be written that a people say, interpret, how they want to interpret. Why, if, if, if it's a book that is by a man of God inspiration, it should be straightforward so everyone could, even the less part, maybe educational wise, could overstand everything. Why it has to be written in a somewhat parable? And why are these people who get the vision have to have an English name? Mm -hmm. You mean in the Bible? 
Yeah, in the Bible, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so it's interesting, interesting question. But you, I, I see that you, 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 you answer it right. Uh, um, I have said please, before. You've said what you've said. Um, the, the, the question, and uh, the question is relevant, though, mm-hmm. and, and I think um, there, there's a question that a lot of people will have. Mm-hmm. So that, as we said earlier. Mm-hmm. We will create another space mm-hmm. for you to come in on a Sunday morning. Yes. And we have this discussion because, yes. as I said before, I know this is something that Muta has discussed a whole lot in this space also. I am aware of that. Right. So, um, and over time, you, you see that iron sharpness iron and knowledge really does increase. And I think the point to be made is that with everything that, just like the Council of Nicaea, because these were the same problems they were having, and that's why they had the different councils. That's why they call themselves together to try to solve the problem. That's why the Roman Catholic Church and the East, and the, and the Eastern Orthodox Church, Orthodox Church split up. And, because and they could not thing, agree. And another thing, right. Carbo. Yes. And another thing, Carbo. Yes. I heard a lot of, even, I heard a lot of Rasta, because they have this person. I Rasta said, Celestia is the second coming of Jesus. Celestia can be the second coming of Jesus when Jesus does not exist. Sister, come on. Yes. No, brethren. Yeah, c- come forward, please. Yes. No, brethren. Yes. Le- let us be reasonable. I listen last year. I never come and tell no one that he is God or he is Christ. But like I said, maybe what I have to yeah, share no, might. What, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. People said that because of the same Bible we are talking about. No. Mm-hmm. Jesus is the second coming of Jesus because Jesus mm-hmm. promised us a return of the mm-hmm. Bible. Mm-hmm. Jesus is not a real man. My brother, can I speak? Yeah, and that is what I'm here for. And when I speak, I'm not seeking to enforce an ideology or even a doctrine. I only can speak to no, relate. Reason, reason. Yes, I, I can speak to relate what can be attested. Now, for example, you see, I that is praising Rastafari right now, you think I just get up and praise him. So I mentioned Revelation 5 to justify that I just I say I fulfill that characteristic. Now, when you look, if you should choose to look at Isaiah 9, verse 6 and 7, you know what is written? For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his yeah. name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Verse yeah, 7 says, you're yeah, right, verse 7 says, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David. So you see, when we are, we know that our genuine races, we have a compass, the 23rd of July, 1892, that was fulfilled. The yeah, increase of his government upon the throne of David. You're right, you're right, you're right, and I will be completed. The second yeah. aspect is, after the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David. You know where that brings you? Second of November 1930. So that is why we are Rastafari, right? Because we, we know the Father, and we know when him speak. That is what defines us as Rastafari. Right? Go, go ahead, go ahead. I, I not touch Rastafari to the Bible. You know why I not touch Rastafari to the Bible? Mm-hmm. More any name one man in the Bible. We have a family alive today. Hmm? Oh. Apart from them, say King David, because them, them attach King David to the to, to, to Rastafari family. Well, so the, King the, David, that well, the, 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 the scepter shall not depart until Shiloh yeah, until Shiloh comes. Uh, yeah. King David, King King David, would that uncle would that be the only man in the Bible? We have a family alive today. They don't say Rastafari. The line is a Rastafari. Mm-hmm. Why no other person in the Bible now have a family? We are alive. All right. You you don't have it straight. Now, for example, I just speak to you now and testify and be a witness in the name of His Majesty. I am of Judah. Nothing that changed. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Because if you didn't know the match, you don't know, say, we are, are, as they are called, transatlantic slaves, and the scattered children of Israel. Maybe they I can't say that either. So here yeah, I know. You see the book? No, they say, you're on the fire. They say, spir- you well, know. they say spiritual things is well, foolishness to the carnal mind. So you see, if the eyes rasta, you would have listened to what I listen to. I say, I may be in this conversation. But let me, let me, let, let me ask you, Carla, because can you, can you validate, um, you know, first of all, how is, who is His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor Haile Selassie, the first to you? Uh, you see? Emperor Haile Selassie, the first to me. Yes. He's my king. Yes. Yeah, he's my king. Okay, so so you so are you, and and you are Rastafari. Straight forward. Yeah. So so you do, so so and 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 there are many different ways 
of engaging and interacting and, and viewing and seeing his imperial majesty among the many mansions and the, even the individuals within Rastafari. So basically I think this is what it is. Um, yes. so, so that, so that your own, your own coming to, for example, his imperial majesty is, is, is through the process that you're talking about. And then yes, Chris yes. Fagan is saying that, um, for him it was through revelation and the yes. conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Um, but, but you both are speaking about David, you know, um, and, and, and David obviously goes all the way back to Solomon if you're going to follow the, 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 the Bible. So that Solomon then would have, through the lineage of his imperial majesty, people alive yeah, today saying, just Kabo, the same. What I'm yes. saying, what I'm saying, Cabo. Yes. It, it is, it'll only be Solomon, or Solomon's and David line is said it. Yes. So it's not it going to be David Lyon alone who have a family alive today. Because nobody is not the Bible. You can't chase nobody. Because Jesus, Jesus can't have to do with David. Because Joseph is not the Jesus father. Then. That's going to the Bible. Mm-hmm. Mary never had no husband. Mary born from a, Jesus born from a spirit. That's going to be the Bible. Mm-hmm. And he does Bible. Mm-hmm. And so Joseph is not the Jesus father. So Jesus not have nothing to do with David. So they, why people, why, so why, why, you, you know, the reason why cert, still has to get certain prayers mm-hmm. is because of Jesus. Because to Jesus is so much miracle, walk from water to panel. But isn't it, but isn't they, it, they, it they might, they might but isn't it through the Solomon, isn't it through the Solomonic dynasty though? It's not just about Jesus, in terms of my understanding. It is also through the Solomonic dynasty, isn't it? No, why, why I'm saying this, Cabo, is mm. more of rubbish to the Bible that the Bible not have nothing to do with we. Sister, the, Bible, the, 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 Bible, the, Bible, the Bible is like, 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 the Bible is the world is listening to you. So what you are telling clearly that you hold Rastafari, but indifferent to the Bible, the same Bible, what I just last year, same glory in and another thing you may be overlooking. Research and find out. I just last year, from a youth and my sister, you can attest to it. He was raised in the Coptic, which is no referred to as the Orthodox Church. I just last year, he's seen kissing the Bible. So I am one of those now that make a differentiation now with the races, them that go against what His Majesty said, and at the same time, put themselves up now as if they know more than the Emperor, but the did, Emperor did, I follow. Did Rastafari, say, did Rastafari say, read and find truth for yourself? Ah, did, what, read, you read what? Have, read what? Did he say that? Well, I read what? Did Rastafari have, make a speech towards the Bible say, read and find truth for years? In, say, say, in, do, in, say, in reading, you will, that you know, by any, any individual, him say, when you study, you will find truth for yourself. Then you know, that's why yeah. I bring to you, man, Revelation 5 you know reveal. Mean, say, you know what I mean, say, him say, read the Bible because it's truthful. Re- read, read what? Bible, read what? You know, all right, all right, my brother, my brother, what was he referring to? Read what? Eh? Which one? Which one? The Egyptian book of the dead? Most of the Bible is taken from the Egyptian book of the yeah. dead. Yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm <laughs> saying which book. Let, let, no, let the world hear what you have to say. I don't like the contention no, around. I'm, which I'm, book was he referring to? Make a speech towards the Bible where him say read and find truth for years. Which, which Bible? Which Bible? I think the point he's trying to make is not so much that, but to say, find truth. Whether, mm. whether it is the Bible you're reading or not, mm-hmm. he's, I think the point he's making mm. is that read and then find truth for yourself. In other words, your relationship mm-hmm. with the Almighty, mm-hmm. your relationship with God, whoever, whoever you perceive him to be, is an individual process, yeah, an sister, individual relationship. Sister, I think that's the point he's making. And, and the point here is, in, in, in totality of the essence of his majesty's speech, you know what, what the majesty says? Ex- accept, you accept the Bible with a clear conscience, there is no hope for salvation. That's why I make myself different, you know. It's if an eye slash I say jump, I jump. If the king say walk, I walk. Anything what the king say, yeah, yeah. I we am in to, line with have, that. We have to go because I really do yeah, have a break. Man, I'm going to lose my job in all. Because I'm sitting for food time, I'm going to take the break, sir. Yes. Changa Beng, a Changa Beng, a Steve Beng. Changa Beng, you don't know something, I'm going to take the break. I mean, if I say, I'm going to say, if the Bible... Mm. The LCM Bible said there's no name given under the sun that man can be saved by the name Jesus. No, you're gone wrong. 
The man name I'm never named no Jesus. Just say Yeshua no man. Feel you Hey, we no work with no Jesus. Yeah, we no deal with no Jesus. School of vision. Burn Jesus, my brother. Hold on. Yeah, we no want no Jesus. We don't want him Jesus. Jesus, yeah, but you talk Jesus. out of your mouth. So we hear what you say, but I know that I say. So I call for another oh. council. A, no, no. A council of... We don't want to name Jesus, 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 or Jesus. We don't want to name Jesus. Well, that is yours. That is your authority. We don't have a problem with that. Shanga no, no. we do have to go. And, and, and School of Vision is a Bible society. I welcome these, I welcome these conversations, different. you know, because... At some point, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to come to some decisions about who we are, what we are, where we're going, how we're getting there, and whether or not certain things are important to that process. Thank you so much, my brother. All right? All right. All right. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. <laughs> inside of the cutting edge. We're in the last just about 15 minutes, and, uh, we're, a very special guest in studio is priest Dermot Fagan, founder of his Imperial Majesty School of Vision, also from the School of Vision, uh, Assistant Minister of, Agri- Minister of Agriculture, Anthony Gordon, and General Secretary, Judge Larson Abel. And, uh, the, you know, uh, Rain just told me, priests, uh, we know if we do no more chanting because we have a lot of calls holding and we only have just about 15 minutes. <laughs> so she <laughs> says, don't say so long on the phone either. Go through it. So let me see how many calls I did. Yes, yeah, I want to hear more, but she said, no, no, no more. So <laughs> let me, let me go to the phone lines and see how many calls we can get through. Hello, greetings. Yeah, come on. Yes, greetings. Sorry to have kept you holding. Yeah, these things happen in life. I almost accept it, you know? Yeah, yeah give thanks. Now, first of all, I'd like to say to the panel, mm-hmm. respect. The king run all things. is imperial majesty. That's what I, I, I say. Yes, right. Yes. 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 I want to give the audience, along with the panel, three words mm-hmm. to maintain a research really on a level. Yes. First one, etymology. Etymology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Second one, mm-hmm. education. Education. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The third one, epistemology. Epistemology. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, as according to the fact, Mm-hmm. The Bible, in my observation and teaching, mm-hmm. is a mystery book that must be read like a storybook. Mm-hmm. Now, that said, we, we have a lot of issues with interpretation-wise. Mm-hmm. But it is a book that is needed for basic instructions before leaving earth. So to build a house strong, foundation must be firm. Mm-hmm. So we have to start with a firm foundation, mm-hmm. which is part of the principles of the Bible. Yeah. The youths them of today have lost their way of roots from the technological advancement of the world. Mm-hmm. So what we need to do as elders is to focus them on the journey. Mm-hmm. You see, Jack gave us something that is so open and we don't ever see it. The colors where we represent in the flag, Ethiopia, is there for a significant purpose of a covenant that was made with Noah by the rainbow. Are the three most dominant colors in the rainbow is the colors of the Ethiopian flag. Yet still, when we move to Revelation, Revelation shows that the colors of Babylon is purple, white, and scarlet, which is red which is the colors of the European domination and colonial powers, mm-hmm. England, France, America, right. all of them. Mm-hmm. So what we see in the significance of these things as a people, a movement, so Rastafari is eternal, you know. People don't realize the visual of Rastafari. Even though people come and say God, most people don't realize the word God does not mean good. That is why I give you etymology, because the word God don't mean good. Mm -hmm. It's not what it means. It may mean all the superlatives as superb and high order. That's why in the book it says there are many gods, but there is only one true and living God. Mm -hmm. There is an unknown God. But what if if we use our own tongue? What if we weren't talking 
in M-C-H-Y. them other one in them yeah. other one tongue would have said nkulunkulo which would have mean our our identification of that energy that frequency that vibration that them other one they call god but because our ancestors were long 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 before that time they i know said that the only thing that you can do with that is give it a sound and so they say N-kulunkulu. and we can find a whole lot more that means the very same thing but what if we don't what if so so so, so tongue is also important language is important um outside of the etymology and the epistemology right Yes, language is one of the aspects of, of knowledge. Mm-hmm. We well, have to remember language is diverse. Yes. And in the sense of the matter, since as we're living in an English context world at this present time with Fire. Our <laughs> lifestyle, Sorry. <laughs> we have to maintain that yes. as a focal point, you know what I mean? Yes, so yes. So people can get a relation. I you see, to me, like you must have a connection. Yes, and the a connection priest, would be priest the knowledge of yeah, what yeah. is. You see what I'm saying? Yes, we understand. Yes, My brethren. My brethren. Yes. We like yes, to say, we're sound and power. No, to me, God is not a name. God is a title. So you have to differentiate between the title and the name. The ancient name for our God is Olombo Olombo Akebolan. That is Africa. I heard a brethren mention earlier um, I just last year, I don't relate to the Africa. The Bible does not relate to Africa. It's, it is an African story. The first nation rent mentioned in the Bible, what? Ethiopia. Everything is about the African. God is an African. The children of Israel are Africans. Abraham, Isaac, Israel, all of that is black people's story. But I want to go study for themselves in all these things. What we have here is a twist in of reality by false representation by white people. Simple. And that is, and, and I think that's the bottom line in terms of, and this is why I said yeah, the conversations yeah. are necessary. Um, maybe another council is necessary at summit, but the way that Rastafari used to, used to meet, used to gather and have these discussions or have these reasonings, um, that to me, it's not happening as much as it used to. I follow you on, on the social media. I'll TikTok you up on Facebook. You, see, you know, so somebody up on TikTok, I follow you more time. So, um, so, so I think, so use the social media spaces then, or if not the social media spaces, then the Nyabingi temple, the Nyabingi tabernacle, the, the, the temple spaces, the, um, the green spaces, and the, you know, always return to the, to the, to the old landmark for the youth. This is the point I'm making for the youth. For the youth. Yeah. Well, the word, you know, remember the word is the power. So what we're trying to do is get across to this generation that is here. The mm-hmm. word that we need them to know is yes. that when we say Ja, Rastafari, Selassie, it cover all concept mm-hmm. of righteousness. Mm-hmm. Because yes. to, to, to the level of the word, deviation from, yes. from the things that are good. Because this, the fight is good over evil. Yeah. So when we look at our way of life, it must designate who we are. So we have to live ourselves to show the full meaning of what we are saying. No, we're going to be manipulated by thought, mm-hmm. of course, because everyone feels in some form or fashion. Mm-hmm. But we have to maintain the significance of who we are. Mm-hmm. You see... When you start get caught up like people say, Israel and Israelite, the Bible say we're going to come with a new name, never before heard anywhere in the world, original chosen of God, which is Rastafari. Mm-hmm. That's why if you read the significant site in Isaiah, go on and tell you, say, mm-hmm. look, to the king, because yeah. the king shall and come is, with this. And this is why we're, we're going to try and get another call in at least. Sister but this is why the word we're giving our epistemology, mm-hmm. we want everybody to go look that up. The other two then, but definitely the epistemology. Thank you so much, my. I, I will have to get another call in, please. Yeah, I just want to say much to the In the coronation of Philo Selassie the first, not only king of kings, you know, king of Israel and king of Mount Zion. These are some of the things they try to suppress. Yes, and so, and so the, uh, so we're taking your telephone calls. Please send the other calls quickly because we do have 10 minutes. I'll try and take at least two in the 10 minutes if we can. So it's going to be two rush calls. But, um, yes, so, so, so the, so the point I think remain, I think remains that who, he, who is the emperor is imperial majesty, the emperor Haile Selassie. 
And uh, there's another thing is the extent to which even young Rastafari are learning about his imperial majesty. In other words, what he says. What does Rastafari mean? I think these are a lot of things that I, I have witnessed just in my own space that is being lost. And so, yes, you come to the, to the space and the realization, but there is a vacuum in terms of the teachings of his imperial majesty, the emperor, Haile Selassie the first. And, so that is, and that is why School of Vision is here, even at the moment, seeking to make a difference. Yes, Judge, go ahead. Uh, we yes, have a sir. call. Hold call one minute. Yes, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, just a few seconds. I just want the whole Jamaica to know that we are inviting them to School of Vision Fest mm-hmm. this Sunday, mm-hmm. 18th. And it's going to be all natural food, natural herbs, Everything. natural products. Everything is in the Blue Mountain, Irish Town, St. Andrew, Jamaica. Oh, you just have to do that. No, you know, should I say that for my family? Yeah, family. yeah, but because it, the, the, every we more important things, we yeah, more important <laughs> things were being discussed. So we have to leave this until last, but I hope everyone can so the see. The School of Vision Fest this, this um, Sunday. This Sunday, the 18th, yeah. in the Blue Mountain. In the Blue Mountain. From what time? From eight, o- from 10 o'clock till 8 o'clock in the night. From 10 o'clock in the morning. Look at that. Till eight in the night. Look at that. That sounds good. Yeah. All right, let me go back to the lines. Yes. Uh, greetings. <laughs> greetings. <laughs> greetings. You there? Call there? Uh, yes, greetings. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Yeah, perfect love and ten ask for link, sister Carbo, yes, Give thanks, my brother. Perfect love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And perfect love, my brother. Please Rastafari. fear God. Rastafari, bless. I say, say. Well, incidentally, I met each of the item once on the same occasion. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I've not a short discourse with each of the item likewise, you know, on that occasion, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Sister Carbo Marcello. Yes, my brother. They I might not remember still, but one of the time I get to the eye half the year. Yes. And I told the eye that my birthday is May 10. <laughs> yes. I, yes. So I, yes. I told the eye that yes. the eye to eye is a resurrection. Yes. And the day that Bob Marley passed away. Yes. Relative to the work what the eye accomplished in this dispensation, my sister. Yeah. It's just a yes. day, though. It's, not, it's, it's just a day. It's not the 8-1, but it's May 11. <laughs> I yes. Sister. I think yes. I think the same thing to you. Yes, my brother. Good to hear from you. Thank you so much for that. I am my ancestor every time. I am a sister. Give thanks. Well, yes. I want to know, I had this Bonnie Wheel in an interview mm-hmm. some of while back, see? Yes. And he was asked about the difference as how he and Bob Marley and Peter Touch delivered their message. Mm-hmm. And Bonnie Wheel's answer to that was that he and Bob and Peter are uh, like three three men traveling from three different directions. Mm-hmm. And they are looking at a tree. Yeah. So each man is describing the side of the tree that he's looking at. Mm-hmm. And so listening to this reasoning <laughs> and the different opinion, <laughs> yes. and I could really hate <laughs> the diverse. It says Bonnie, Bonnie Baba and Peter. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you, my brother. So, well, let's see. Uh, look. Right, no, yeah. Yeah. The item yeah. saying the right yeah. thing. I'm pretty sure you can. I want to say to the eye, my brethren, say, this is the eye opinion of I, the last year I heard, my brother. That is the same way I wrote it, my brethren. See? Give thanks. Every single Give... word that come out of Ireland is last year, I'm out, my brother. I did that. Yeah. I did that. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you know, I, I, I guess what made me different than the king me I deal with. I is a disaster. I remember that. I, I. Ireland is last year, I say. The Bible transcends our boundaries of empire mm-hmm. and our and conception of race. Mm-hmm. And Ethiopia, yeah. and Ethiopia has Ethiopia. one of the oldest versions of the Bible. Mm-hmm. That is very important. And, and Thank you, my brother. I give <laughs> thanks. I so my sister. Yes. I, I wanted to die before even the time run out. Yes. 
This is where years ago when the I come and make that declaration mm -hmm. that Imhotep is the first wife, my sister. Yes. That is one of the most profound de de declarations I ever make on a radio station, my sister. Ah, oh, give yeah. thanks. It remains. And I give thanks to the eye for that, my sister. Yeah. Give, give thanks. Give thanks, my now, brother. I want to mention two books before still, see? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Because you, should, you see, I, I give thanks to, to, to the eye and your persistence yes. with having your book club, my sister, see? Yeah? Yes. No. I don't know if they are know of a book by the name of the historical origin of Christianity. Yes. By a brother by the name of Walter Williams. Yes, yes. Yeah, about yes. that book by my brother, I cut a far right. Ah, yes, yes. I have, yes. I have two, I have two, two little like books that are called Her Heritage Restored. Heritage yes, by Restored? By the name of Julia L. Rose. I don't know that one. Heritage Restored? Yeah, but okay. in, in spelling the heritage, you spell it as H E R U. Yes. Dash T H E. Oh, heritage. Yes. All right. right. We need to forget and that. Word, you yes. spell the word as R A. Mm -hmm. Dash S T A U R E D. Restored. Yes. Yeah, yes. I think the brother is a Rastan is empress is a Muslim. I can I, 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 I see it. He's a Muslim and his empress yeah. is a last time, you know? Yeah, yeah. I see the yeah. whole thing right there, sir. Give and, thanks, my brother. The, Thank you for that. Uh, incidentally, the only person ever asked if I read those two little volumes is them six. See, I'm a virgin. I cut a fire. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, I cut a I I spoke to the guy about nearly a quarter century ago, see? You see it? Give thanks, my brother. Give thanks. Give thanks. As we brethren matrix come true. You know, um, I'm so sorry that we can't take any more calls because we need to wrap. That was Rush Money from you know, Money? I'm, that Bongo Money from Pit 4? Was that Bongo Money? I, for some reason, I don't think so. It's so, I mean, it's not like him, no. Mention high cost. So oh, okay, right but, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But I think I talked to him after mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so my, so, so priest, so here we are. I mean, we, we're going to start which part we did, we, we'll leave which part we start because, you know, as above, so below. Um, this, so this is where we are on, in, on, on, on the trajectory, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a chip, it's a microchip, mm -hmm. it's a brain chip. Is a, is, is a vaccine chip, is a nanoparticles and everything connected to the clouds. It's transhumanism. And after that, what do you say? Well, I'm, I am very optimistic that to say that I will be here as yes. we progress. So we will continue. Cause I will be here to, to, to be a witness to the events that will unfold. Yes, and we understand what yeah, bearing faith, witness means. Bearing <laughs> witness <laughs> by faith. By yes, ma'am. Yeah. My brother, a quick, a quick last word from you, um, my, my brother, uh, Anthony. Anthony. Yes? Well, uh, most of them can say then, we give thanks again for being here and we advise everyone to take up the farming, like, uh, true farming, we shall serve. My advice if I want to take up the farming, you know, cause right now, the food we are getting right now from the farmers, them, is they even healthy, you know, so. Heavily chemicalized. Heavily chemicalized, so the best if I want can farm them own food, you know. I want to invite you back to come talk about that still, you know. Yeah, well, I give thanks, you know. Seriously. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. My brother, George. <laughs> yeah, man, we give thanks for the opportunity yeah. for having us, you know. Give thanks yeah. for the invitation. Blessed love and bless up. I will FM well, and the rest of the staff, you know. Well, but things don't know the drum and the studio, you know. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> no drum, no there. Yeah, you know that, so. So, so, so the mystic. Yeah. <laughs> we just left it right there, so. Sure, yeah. It's a mystic <laughs> right to the year, you know. Yeah, Natural mystic. Natural mystic, Yeah, man. bless up. <laughs> give thanks, give yeah. thanks, free yeah. speak, and, yes, and the brethren you from thanks, the sister. Give sure thanks, give thanks. thanks. And remember now, yeah. Sunday coming. Mm -hmm. Sunday the 18th. Yes, yeah, right. Up at Fest. School of Vision School Fest. Blue Mountain. Blue Mountain. Blue Come Mountain. and get all your natural products, them, everything oh. natural. Look all natural that, products on sale. And the experience well, I mean, I of the Nair chanting and worship and praise. Yeah. Yes. And Nair being a chanting. Yeah, man, yes, everything, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We're also going to have artists too. Tijan will be performing. Oh. David Slor. <laughs> I judge we will be there. Hey. Plus school of vision, chant, the school of vision artists then will be there too. So a lot of niceness. Yes, yes, it's all the way. <laughs> to Look miss is to this. It's to this. And, and, and it's also MC Ogre. 
it, it has the most panoramic view <laughs> in the Blue Mountain. Look here, man. <laughs> we make way for Matrix. We make way for Matrix. My name is Carbo Infomuta. Muta will be on in tomorrow. This is how we say goodbye. On to Matrix, where then? The Matrix number just says. Oh. <laughs> Matrix, alright, Okay, make your way for Matrix.